What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another Super Sunday stream of Animal Crossing for... Well, on my channel. My name is Blaze, by the way. Thanks for stopping by, hanging out, and tuning in. Normally, this is the part of the show where I jump into Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. Uh, but today, I'm not going to do that. Today is a special treat. Today, we're going to play a different game. And that game is Animal Crossing yeah. for the Nintendo GameCube. So... Uh, that is, it's been kind of a long time coming. I have some, I have some good news and bad news about, about, uh, jumping into this game. So, the good news is I was able to find three different memory cards of, of towns that I built in this game. The bad news is, um, I don't think any of those towns are my original first ever town. Although I might be wrong. Um, though I'm pretty sure I'm right. Um. I think my original town came with a, uh, the game came with a memory card with the Animal Crossing sticker on it, and I can't find that memory card. I think that's where the game is, or I think that's where the, uh, the town is, is located on that memory card. So, um, hopefully, um, maybe I'll find it someday, but I'm not in too much of a hurry. Um, well, I'm in a hurry. I, I want to find it, but I don't know when that's going to be, so... Stay tuned for that. Uh, for now, today, I'm playing on the actual GameCube hardware with the super cool WaveBird controller. And let's get started. Let's get started. Animal Crossing for the Nintendo GameCube. Let's get it started. So this is a game that uh, I haven't touched in a long time. Um, and I don't even know what town this is, to be honest with you. I think this is the town. Um, this town may actually look a little familiar, um, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, it's Avon. This is not the town I was thinking it was. Um, no, I don't want to get started. So, I want to switch. I want to switch towns. How do I do that? Before I go... Um... So I, I don't remember what town this is or why I made this town. I guess we'll get into it and save it real quick and I can switch. Uh, what's your name? Trent? Who's Trent? Uh, how could I ever forget someone like you? Like, I don't even know who this person is. Um, but here we are. I'm here to dance is here. I know that she's been looking forward to this day for uh, a whole week now. And here we are in the GameCube Animal Crossing. I hope you have fun in Avon. I have no idea what Avon is. So I'm gonna go ahead and just save real quick because I don't want to be in this town right now. This isn't the town I wanted to uh, come into. And I want to switch memory cards and then go into a different town. Gabby, oh gosh. Um, I thought this was, hmm, I guess not. It's all good. A little bit of technical difficulties there, because I couldn't remember what memory card was what. I don't even remember making this town, to be honest with you, but I will visit this town. Mm -hmm. I'm going to jump on the train uh, from a different town and go to this town. I don't know why that was the town that was, uh, that was initially on there. But it's all good. I meant to have that planned out a little bit better. Um, well, I, d I did buy the, the game used, but uh, all the towns are saved on memory cards. So the memory cards are my are my towns. So I, I made that town uh, when I was younger. I don't remember um, exactly why or what the case was, but... Are you ready to go out on the town? Here we go. So this is the one I was trying to get to. This is uh, the town of Atlantis, which may sound super familiar because it was the town that I used on my New Leaf game. So today is all about Atlantis. Shall we get started? Um, yes, let's do it. What was your name again? Milo. So this is a, a, a game that I wanted to... I was really trying to make Atlantis well before um, 
well before I uh, I had New Leaf. And this is this is my town. This is my character. He had a little dragon dragon hat on. Lewis uh, sixty nine. Thanks for that follow. Certainly appreciate it. You are the MVP of the day so far. So far. So you're gonna notice that there's a ton. There are a ton of. Um, weeds everywhere. I haven't played this game in a long, long time. You'll also notice something cool about this about this game that is not present in the new games, and understandably so, is that, oh gosh, <laughs> there are NES games. You can actually play the NES games. Um, Excite Bike. I can play Excite Bike, and maybe I'll play it a little bit later. Pinball is actually one of my favorite games on the NES. You can play that. I'll probably play it a little bit later. <laughs> Super Tortimer isn't an NES game. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah, as far as the characters go, they are super cute. I love the characters and the way that they look in this game. They changed them a little bit, and that's fine. Um, they weren't bad. The changes weren't bad. Um, but I don't even remember, like, what I was doing in this town. Can you even change the, uh... Okay, I was going to say, can you even change the angle? This is as far as you can go. You can't go all the way around. Um, you can zoom in, you can zoom out. Pretty neat. I'm pretty sure I finished paying off this whole house, so the, the houses aren't even quite as big. Um, this was a game that I, I dedicated myself to playing it every single day for one year, and I managed to make it. Um, but yeah, it's a much smaller, much smaller game. <laughs> This is, uh, what is this? Wario's Woods, a game that never came out in America. Uh, this is Balloon Fight. Donkey Kong. I'm not sure what's over there. I can't really get to it. Oh, I can. DK Jr. Math? No thanks. <laughs> um, let's see... So I'm I'm really I'm kind of bummed out that they don't do the NES games anymore, but that's fine. I mean, I understand why they they stand to make a lot more money by not doing NES games and uh, releasing them on the eShop instead. So it makes sense. So that's that's a quick rundown of the house. The house is just cluttered with all kinds of stuff in it, so nothing really nothing special about the house. Uh, let's see. So starting today, a few days ago. I want to see everyone at the wishing well at 0600 hours. Your friendly neighborhood police dog will whip you into shape for swimsuit season. You know, um, the police station in my town doesn't do stuff like that. I really wish that they did. Aerobics for early risers. Join us every morning at 6 at the wishing well. Um, 725 through 831 for morning aerobics. It's not fair. Everyone else got to see the fireworks, but no, not me. I had to work. Why? It's not like anyone came in anyway. The place is deserted. That was probably... That was probably, uh, Tom Nook. <laughs> Leandra, hello. Welcome to the stream today. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Found my tools. Awesome. I know yesterday you were having a hard time getting your shovel. But I'm glad that uh, you're able to get one today. Um... I bought the Game Boy Advance SP back in the day because they released the old Mario Bros. games. I really want them to release this on a handheld one day. I'm all about some retro games. I think I was just thinking that too. Like before I started this game today, I was like, man, if this came out on the Switch, I would totally buy it and play it again. They'd have to make some adjustments to it though, because I feel like I'm pretty sure that they would have they'd have some issues with. Um, the date. The date would run out. Um, I'm pretty sure this game only goes to 2020. So if that was the case, they'd have to make some adjustments to the calendar, at least. Who's this person? So I wonder if they're going to talk about how long it's been. 156 months. Oh my gosh. How many years is that? That's at least 10 years. Um...
gosh. 10 years plus 36 months. Uh, that's 12. Oh my gosh. That's like... That's 12 and a half years is the last time I played this game. 12 and a half years. Um, <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> I grew up, man. I wish I, I wish I never did. I wish I kept playing this game every day. You haven't been doing fun things behind my back. Have you? Okie dokie. So, what do you want? Uh, well, I'll tell you what I want. Maybe, maybe you can help me. Or maybe I can help you. Yo, I'll tell you what I want. What I really, really want. 13 years. I was hoping they would tell me how much time it's been. It's been a long time. Can I help you? Did you know we have a post office? No. <laughs> how fascinating. You can mail letters there. And you do know how to write letters, don't you? It's complicated, I know. But with practice, you can do it. And you know where you should go to get stationery, don't you? That's right. Nook store. So why in blazes haven't I gotten a letter from you? Oh, gosh. That's like... He's just, like, burning me right now as far as, like... It's kind of it's kind of like the... It's kind of like not texting in 13 years. Um, <laughs> uh, it's like it's like you didn't text me back kind of a thing. But this is like old school. It's a letter. It's a letter version of that. He's like, you know how to write letters, right? Oh, okay, good, good. Because I never got one from you, so... What's up with that? I mean, in my defense, I've been gone for 13 years, so... I mean, I don't know. Um... Why in blazes haven't I gotten a letter from you? That really ticks me off. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okie dokie! He's so mad. I like this character, though. He's actually really cool. He's, like, really mad at me, though. Like, for real. But he's really cool looking. What's his name again? Spike? Shut up. You looking for a fight? No. Then back off, buddy. Maybe I'll leave him alone for a while. I have a lot of pitfalls. I buried a lot of stuff too. I don't know why I buried so much stuff. I feel like maybe there's like... Maybe I did something with um, my storage and I was actually... I'm going to explore the rest of the town here in a few minutes. I just want to make sure I have everything under control here. Um, I wonder if like... Did I have a storage and did I fill the storage up? This is the storage. No, it's... Oh, you can only put three things in a storage container. I forgot about that. It's not as good. Um, so every single every single furniture item, you can put three things inside of it. Um, my basement... In my other town actually has... It's full of these modern uh, dressers. And it has like... It has everything in there, um, so it's it's kind of funny how I how I have it worked out in the other games, um, but yeah, I don't know why I kept that stuff. It's not like I can't buy it again. Um, I really wish this is what Wild World looked like. Everything about it looks so cute. It does. If Wild World looked exactly like this, I would, I would not, I would have played it a lot more. There was just something missing about Wild World. But it wasn't, it was by no means a bad game. I just didn't really, I don't know what it was. I just couldn't really, couldn't get into it. Hey, he's, he's okay now. You better? Why am I so tired in the mornings? Hey, you been talking to me? I asked him for a job last time and he berated me about not sending a letter. He's gonna get mad at me again. Oh, wow. You know what? I thought I thought he was gonna be okay. Like you think he'd understand? I was gone for 13 years. All right, which way should I go? Let's check the map here. I, I haven't seen. So one thing you'll notice about the map is that it has a break. It has a break in the map uh, that you can go down into the lower area. Let's st let's stick on the top acre. So this game actually does a lot with. Um, with acres, is what they call them, is where you actually, when you move, he <laughs> can't let go of his anger. When you move, the, the camera kind of moves with you. 
So as you can see, I did something very similar to my new leaf town. Where I put bubbles here and I put uh, a town signboard of Atlantis. And in this game, you actually, these were just things you could put down wherever you wanted to, the signboards. And you can grab them and put them back down whenever you wanted to. I didn't put a whole lot of work into this town. Um, but I, I, I feel like it was pretty good. If you don't like the map he gave you, could you reset for a new one? I'm pretty sure you could. Um, in fact, I think I did that a few times. Maybe not for this town, but I'm pretty sure I did that. The point of this town was to make it so it was like a mythical town, so it was kind of legendary in some ways. Um, this particular area is a trash area where people throw things away. And there's these basketballs and, and soccer balls I forgot about that show up in the town. Um, you can just kind of kick them around, and, and they don't really do anything, but you can kind of kick them around and stuff. And I feel like maybe they did something, but I don't remember what it was. Who's this person? This is not Blue Bear, it's Cody. I remember Cody, he's awesome. What have you been up to lately? I've been looking all over the place for you. Did some new, totally rad Nintendo game come out? <laughs> you gotta let me play too. Dude, like, a bunch of totally rad Nintendo games came out since this game. In fact, Animal Crossing came out in the, in the 13 years I was away. So there you go. Um, tell me, Milo, what's new? I need work. Can't think of anything. If something pops up, I'll be sure to let you know. Okay. Thanks, I guess. He looked for me for 13 years. I waited for you for 7 years! You waited for me? We're bros now. So I, p I planted a lot of golden trees. I thought that was really going to add to the aesthetic of this town. Because it is a, a legendary mythical town under the sea so I planted a lot of golden trees you'll see those as I as I continue to explore that's one thing I do remember about this town is I did I did plant a ton of trees and why is Cody hanging out by the trash like he needs to stop he needs to get like out of the trash basically let's see so the post office here <laughs> poor Cody if we look at the money that I had, after playing for every day, download the card reading program to your e-reader. Now uh, this is not what I thought it was. Uh, no. So e-reader cards, they don't do those anymore, but they actually had some, some cards. Uh, they were basically Animal Crossing cards that you can get and actually scan them into the e-reader. Uh, they were almost exactly like the uh, amiibo cards except they had like a little barcode strip on the on the edge of them and you slide them through like a credit card on the e-reader uh, some of them unlocked uh, NES games some of them unlocked um, furniture and other items you can get it was basically the same functionality as the um, as the amiibo cards but uh, on a on a much more primitive scale <laughs> um, so here we go in acre what acre is this uh, a5 so let's move down we'll just continue to explore all the acres in this town see what we got going on this town this game does not have fake rocks so all the rocks that you'll see are real rocks they may or may not have money in them that one does not whose house is this I like that you had more options. You sure did. It's Cody's house. I'm not gonna remove any of the weeds because I'll let. There's a mini game you can play, and maybe I'll play that game at some point. Um, but you can actually get get someone else to to get all your weeds picked. I think it's Wisp that does it for you. Um. I saw some e-reader cards on eBay, super cute, but a full set was over $1,300. That's crazy. I actually wanted to collect all the e-reader cards when I was younger. I never got a chance to do that, but it was it would have been really cool. Oh, hey, look at this. I put a sign over here. I forgot about that. A little lake with a little fishy on it. Not bad. Let's 
let's go back up to um, the entrance area. Let's go over this way first. Whose house is this? Oh no, it's Tangie's house. I hate her. Good, she's not in right now. I don't have to talk to her. It's Spike. I'm not going to talk to him again. He, just he really wants me to write him a letter. He really wants me to write him a letter. So the thing about these golden trees is that in order to get a golden tree, you had to bury a shovel. Um, so if I shake this tree, a golden shovel is going to fall out of it. That was how you got the golden shovel. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not going to shake the trees. But that's how, that's how you got the golden shovel. But you, could, you can continue to do it as much as you want. This is the golden spot. Um, every day, your town would have one golden spot in it. And you, that's where you bury your shovel. If you bury the shovel with... If you bury a shovel in the golden spot, it sprouts a golden tree. And that's how you get the golden shovel. Pretty simple stuff, for the most part. I would love to have them, but I can't afford to pay that much. I'll just be happy with my amiibo cards. Don't you have, like, the um, Hello Kitty amiibo cards? Though? Those are actually kind of hard to get, from what I understand. This is Patty's house. I'm just going to go into her house. I don't think she's even home. Yeah, she's not home, but she's close by. This is the cabana furniture, by the way. She has, like, a full set of cabana stuff. bird's not making noise. Oh, there it goes. Interesting. Has anyone ever told you you look a bit like Snoop Dogg? Oh, man, I wish. <laughs> I've not I've not heard that. Uh, my complexion is not uh, dark enough. It doesn't, doesn't, I don't get that very much. I can't unsee it. <laughs> well, I mean, it's cool. It's cool, baby. I'll try to act like Snoop Dogg if that helps. What? You think you can just waltz over once in, waltz over every once in a blue moon and I'll act like everything's fine? Nuh-uh. Wait. 158 months. You're lucky anyone bothers to give you the time of day now. now. Wow. She hates me. <laughs> well, yeah, you're not black and you don't have dreads, but you look like Snoop Dogg. <laughs> That's cool. I'll take it. Actually, I actually kind of like Snoop Dogg. So, it's all good. It's all good. Found the Sanrio cards on eBay last year. Nice. Although I know you're really busy and all, so I guess I'll cut you some slack. <laughs> it's been 13 years. You're like, you're like, I'll just cut you some slack. It's fine. I'm so mad at you, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut you some slack. <laughs> What's up? And pick all the weeds. I'm not gonna pick the weeds because there's a game you can play with Wisp where he does it for you. If you, if you, like, find a couple of spirits late at night for him. So, I'll probably do it that way instead. I won't, I won't do it on, on stream today. Um, but I will do it at some point. What's up? I need work. How come you always show up when I've got nothing for you to do? Do you plan it that way? You've been away for 13 years? Hey, it happens. It's okay. I don't know. There's been a couple people in my life that if they... They've been gone for just about that amount of time. If they were to show up again, I don't think I'd be mad. I'd be... Glad to see them, I think. And pick the weeds. <laughs> I think you were trying to make a pun there, Moland. Oh yeah, so once you actually pay off your house, you get a statue mm -hmm. of yourself. Milo's mm. full loan repayment. Um... My house is on the bottom, so I guess the other statue would go right here, or would it go down here? There's four statues that you can get. Hmm. Well, thanks for the follow, Moland RS. Appreciate it. Always appreciated. I was gonna say pick them weeds, but I thought that wasn't subtle enough. <laughs> So people were actually would, in this game, they would take these signs and they would actually make like a mural out of them. Um, so I saw one person had like a Donkey Kong mural where it looked like, it looked like the arcade game Donkey Kong where he had like, he'd put a signboard like back here too. And it would actually make 
if you stood at the right angle, it'd make a picture. And it looked like Donkey Kong was rolling a barrel at Mario, and Mario was jumping over it. It was kind of cool. I just did something real quick there to make it look kind of neat. I like I liked the way that turned out. Um, let's keep moving here. Probably some more stuff. This is my town of Atlantis, my first original town of Atlantis. I have a new Atlantis on my 3DS version of the game, which I usually play. Um... Oh, at at Ascentis. It does it does look a little weird on the sign. I, I was just looking at that too, actually. I didn't say anything about it, but yeah, the sign, the A, looks really weird. I was just looking at that. <laughs> at A T L C I N T I S. Atlantis. Atlantis. Okay, let's see. Let's head over to the other side and go up to the top there. I don't think there's anything up there. Fossil time! I'm gonna run out of room. You know, the digging up digging up of items is like way quicker. Did you see how fast that was? Like, that was crazy fast. Here we've got Nook's store. Nookington's. Let's go inside. See what we can get into. Do come in. Have a look around. My thoughts on this version versus New Leaf. This version has a ton of like really subtle things that I really like about the game. Um, I actually, I mean, obviously I prefer New Leaf because it's a it's a much better Animal Crossing experience. Um, but this game, this game was good for many reasons, and I I like it. I still like it because the acres existed. I, I like I like the acres a lot. Um, I liked, um, it's vine paper. <laughs> it's six seconds, six second paper. Um, but I like this game, uh, for many reasons, reasons. See, I know, I, and that's, that's the thing I run into, too, is a lot of people didn't like the acres, but I thought they were cool. They, they gave you an idea of where everything was. Hey, wait a second, hold on. What, what, what's wrong? How come I can't sell? Why am I having trouble selling this stuff? Oh, there we go. Sell all. Um, you end up with an acre, which was 6% water and 20% shop, and have to cram everything into the final 20. Yeah, I guess there, there were some problems with acres. I didn't think of it like that. And there definitely were some problems, but I felt like I liked, you know, I liked the idea of the camera, the, the way that the camera panned with you when you moved from acre to acre. That's That's what I liked about them. Um, and the top-down view was good, too. Um, I don't... I, like, when, when they transitioned from this way into the way it was in Wild World, I wasn't... I didn't like it. It took me a, l a long time to, to really open up to the way Wild World looked. But the way that the camera looks right here, I love it. I love this camera view. And if they got rid of the acres, you know, the, the transitions like this, it would have been fine. Um, I didn't necessarily need it to have a, a view that was more rotated down in front of the character. I didn't need that. Um, in this game, I don't remember. How many how many villagers do I have right now? I've got Chico, Alfonso, Valise, Bunny, Astrid, Stella. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 12, 13. I think the, to the top was 15, maybe. Wild World was a pain to figure out what an acre was. You'd have to count items on the floor. Oh, wow. Did, did, so did Wild World tell you, like, um, to go to a certain area and plant more trees? And did they, did they use acres as a way to determine what area was what? Because I, I thought when they transitioned to Wild World, it was a different 
it was a different method of keeping track of everything. Stella, I love her. I moved her into one of my new leaf towns. I'll go, I'll go say hi. I'm going to say hi to all the villagers, but yeah. Um, just in this game alone, I do have... Um, 12 villagers? Which, which is more than uh, New Leaf already. So here is some of the stuff in Nook's area. He sells all the shirts. He sells everything, basically. Is there a third floor? No. Just the first and second floor. Uh, there were acres, and to get a perfect town, you had to plant them in correct acre, but they didn't tell you where the acre, acres were. Oh, gosh. So you'd have to place a bunch of items on the floor and count across the items to figure out where the acre boundaries were. Oh, wow. I didn't I didn't know that. I, I didn't play Wild World enough to even try to do acres. A dirt model. Oh, man. He's, straight, he's selling straight up dirt. Like... I like this electric guitar, though. It's kind of tight. Um, I th it's, it's funny, because I think I remember that kind of vaguely, but I never really thought about having to put items on the floor. Um, but I do remember like them telling me that you needed more trees in so-and-so area, and I was like, oh, well, how do I know where that is? I feel like I remember thinking that very vaguely. So also, the houses in this game would only be put um, where these signs are. So, villager houses would never be put, like if you have a tree right here, they would never put their house in, in replacement of this tree. It would only be on these sign uh, stands, which also gave you tips for the game. Um... I don't have lots of trees in Wild World, but I planted flowers all over and accidentally got a perfect town. <laughs> accidentally, she says. Oh yeah, it was an accident. Hey, congratulations on your perfect town. Oh yeah, this old thing. Let's keep on moving here. New follower, thank you so much, Sailor Jupiter24. Um Thanks for the follow. I really appreciate it. I actually, uh, I used to love Sailor Moon when I was younger. <laughs> when I was a, a younger person. I thought, I thought the show was actually pretty cool. And Jupiter, she's a cool Sailor Scout. Always. Nothing in this acre either. And you can't really build trees like on this hill type area. So you have to build them on the, on the lower half. And the top and the top half as well. So when it came down to acres and, and like things like this, I never thought about it. I, I just accepted it. I was like, oh, it's cool, no problem. But I think you're right as far as uh, in this area, you got the police station, and if there's if there's also a river or a lake, it really limits you in where you can put trees. But I'm pretty sure this town is perfect, so I managed to make it work. I mean, it's perfect except for the weeds, <laughs> which I'm sure, I'm certain I have the maximum amount of weeds right now. Wild world is the same. A house goes where the signs are. I like that. I like it too. In fact, I don't wish they'd bring it back, but what I do wish they would do is let you choose, like, let you designate where the houses can go. Like... For instance, if you're like if you're looking around up here, um, if this were a new leaf, a villager could put his house like right here if he wanted to. But if this if this area is not designated as a residential zone, then this should definitely you know then villagers should not be able to put his house there. Of course, you have to partner with Isabel to designate certain spots as residential spots. I think that's something that has to happen for the next game zoning <laughs> zoning permits and stuff so this is the um, what was I going to say museum <laughs> I couldn't think of the word uh, thanks Jupiter is my fave what time is it I'm so very sleepy 
I don't. I have a, a fossil. You can. Oh, this one you couldn't even. You couldn't even like give him a fossil. Like you had to send them off in the in in a in a letter. Wow, I forgot about that. Like you couldn't. He won't. He won't look at your fossils in this game. You have to send them off in a letter. I'll show you that in a few minutes. That's crazy. Paths and tiles are such a pain when it comes to new villagers moving in. Blathers. These are the fish. These are not all the fish. Wait, maybe they are all the fish. There's no way. There's no way that's all the fish. What? <laughs> Here's the bugs. I have all the bugs. They all kind of live in this area cohesively and they work together as a kind of a sustainable environment. No bugs eat any other bugs. They just kind of go free. So that's cool. I don't even remember fish. Like, I feel like that's not enough fish. I don't have all the paintings yet. I'm missing a few. Like three or four. But again, remember, I haven't played this game in, in 13 years, so it's been a long time. Back to the fossils and see. I th I'm pretty sure I have all the fossils because those are like the easiest thing to get. But I don't. I thought there was more than one room of fossils and fish. This is all the fossils. Wow. Nuts. So I guess that was all the fish. I don't even remember if I got all the fish. Hmm. Oh well. Anywho. Let's keep exploring here. We've got more golden trees. Oh, Abel sisters put their put their little place by the beach here, which is kinda cool. That's exactly where I'd put my shop. It's right next to the beach. But dum bum. But dum bum. Hi there, come on in. I think she talks to me, doesn't she talk to me? Maybe. Uh, what shirt is this? Did I make this shirt? I can't remember. The squiggle? <laughs> I think that is mine. Yep, that's mine. The squiggle. There's a matrix code here. <laughs> Cherry Hill. I was going to make a, a Cherry Hill area where all the cherries are. I guess I didn't do that, maybe. Maybe I did. I don't know. So, it's been a long time, so I can't remember everything I was working on in this town, but I was really trying to make it look like it was something unique. They had some different clothes here, too. So here we've got a money tree I never shook I guess maybe the premise was that in Atlantis money would be everywhere <laughs> money is free whose house is this oh Chico I must be saying things you after all these months am I dreaming I'm dreaming wait I'm not dreaming after all these months of avoiding me you what put the idea in your head to visit now? What's up? <laughs> Need any help? I'm not asking you to deal with it or anything, but I'm dying to chow down on a pear. I know they don't grow naturally around these parts, but I seriously have an urge for one. But look, don't go feel like you have to go out and find me one. It's no biggie. Seriously. I know it's no biggie. In fact, I'm probably not going to do it. <laughs> Just as a heads up. If I come across a pair, maybe I'll maybe I'll look into it, but I wouldn't hold your breath, Chico. So it's kind of neat. I like all this. Like I'm pretty sure I liked the way my map was, and I kept it that way. I like this area here because it's uh. This is where you see the fireworks. Oh. Excuse me. I don't know why I'm so tired. 
I feel like I slept enough this week. I don't need to be tired anymore. <laughs> but yeah, this area here is... Uh, this is where you see the fireworks. You see the fireworks as reflections in the water. Because you can't really see the sky. Um, but it's really neat. I think it's probably the coolest thing. One of the coolest events in this game was the 4th of July. And it's not its not really... I mean, you can see fireworks in New Leaf, but it's not on the 4th of July. Let's go back to that house and see who that is and say hi. The lighthouse, also, there was a, a special mission that you could do with... Um, with Tortimer, I think there was one week out of the year where he goes on vacation and he leaves you in charge of the lighthouse. So every day at 8 o'clock, you have to come back to the lighthouse and turn it on. Otherwise, ships get lost at sea and crash into the into the shoreline. I don't remember what week it is, but I, I want to say September, but it may not be September. Fireworks are every Sunday night in August. They sure are. And they're... I, I would have preferred them on 4th of July, but it's it's fine. This is Alfonso. He says the same thing as Chico. What do you need? Let me help. Work? Me? I don't have time to do any. Oh, work for you. It's a different story. There's one thing. Take this watch to Tangi's house. <laughs> That goofball Tangi came over for a visit and then totally forgot it. Durr. What an airhead. I agree. I agree about Tangi. I, I don't like her. <laughs> um, I've got a lot on my plate right now. Sure, I'll do it. So, Tangi, I don't know what it was about her, but every single time I spoke to her, I just... I didn't like her. I didn't like her at all. So, I'll take her. I'll take her watch back to her. But that's the last thing I ever do. <laughs> Trash talking poor Tangi. Hey, you know what? She was mean to me first. That's all I gotta say. That in no way justifies my being mean to her. Just to be clear. However. Oh, there's money. Okay. I don't remember putting that there or anything like that. I'm not even sure how it got there, to be honest with you. But, cool. Connect your Game Boy Advance, turn it on, and then come back to the dock. This is where you meet Cap'n. I might get into that a little bit later on. Possibly. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do that with the time that we have. Because there's two towns I want to explore. Um... I'm sure you'll like Stella if you remember her. I probably will. Where is she? I don't even know where her house is. A purple sheep, huh? Wait. Did this tree not grow? It's been fi it's been 13 years and this tree's not grown. That's weird. Is that weird? I feel like that's weird. Hmm. Anyway. Valise. It's been quite a long time. Oh, dear Milo. It's been quite a long time, hasn't it? Indeed, a very long time. I do believe it's been about 155 months, hasn't it? Did you go on a trip or something? Let's get right to the point. What can I do for you? It's a cute mini tree. Can I help you? Let me think. No, I'm afraid I've done everything worth hmm. doing. So yeah, this tree, I don't know if maybe the game only grows trees every day that you play the game. Um, so tomorrow it might be a, a bigger tree. But something's definitely off there because I, mu I must have planted this tree 13 years ago and now it's not, it's not grown yet. It's weird. Hmm. Belize's house. Hey, look at all this. She has, what, regal stuff? Is that what this is? Can't tell. Oh, well. You also could not hang anything on the walls in this game. So you, if you had a, a painting or something, you had to put it on the floor. Womp, 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 womp. Let's keep moving here. This is the town square. 
looks a little different than it did before. Oh, there she is. I like that you can go inside when they're not home. I wish they kept that. Me too. I totally thought you were involved in, like, a horrible accident or something. Seriously. Don't you think it's kind of weird not showing your face like that for, like, 56 months? 156 months? One way or the other, I gotta say few. I'm just glad I didn't ask Cooper to look for you. Why didn't you? It's been, like, 13 years, and you didn't even think to, th think to ask Cooper? What's going mm -hmm. on? Delivery. You know what? I will say that she's worried about me, which is kind of... It's kind of cute. <laughs> Why in the world do you have it? See, she's so mean. Excuse me, but isn't that my watch? Why in the world do you have it? That's, that's what she's saying right now. Oh, duh. That's what this is all about. Alfonso asked you to return it. That's, like, so helpful. Yeah, see, maybe you should think before you speak. <laughs> you get furniture as a reward. It's nice to know that there are people like you willing to go the extra mile. So here's where you meet Wisp in the uh, in the evening hours of the day. Um, like 2 a.m., something like that, he actually comes in and uh, will help you pick all your weeds. This is how you dance in Animal Crossing for the GameCube, by the way. It's the only way to dance. There's a certain rhythm you have to you have to <laughs> you have to get in order to make him do it correctly. That I almost had it. Not quite. I can't get it correctly now, but you can make him stand in one sp in one uh, in one spot and spin. It's pretty funny. Woo! Shake it. <laughs> So that, that quote is, is basically the reason why Tanji and me don't get along. She's just so mean to me. It doesn't make any sense. She's like, why do you have my watch? I did not give you my watch. <laughs> I'm looking her right in the eye like, hey, watch it. Better watch who you're talking to. Oh, it's Camo Frog. He's awesome. You little ingrate, just disappearing off the face of the earth without saying a word? I looked all over for you. I told you, if you ever do anything, come and see me first. Well, water under the bridge and all that. I'm glad to see you. He called me an ingrate. Why are you here? Let me help. Everyone in town has been telling me my house looks too boring and that I ought to spruce it up a bit. Ingrates? Ignoramuses? What am I supposed to do? I mean, do I plant flowers or what how is a manly guy like me supposed to know how to do something like that <laughs> I need you to do it for me oh so I'm not manly wow he totally just says like I'm too manly to plant flowers but you I'm sure you could handle it it's right up your alley it seems like plant me some flowers okay we'll see if that happens or not yeah, Camel Frog's pretty cool. He did call me an ingrate, but he calls everybody an ingrate, so he's just a grumpy old man. Probably from the war. <laughs> he's 13 years older now, so he's just he's getting up there in age. He just says some weird things sometimes. He means well. So over here, whose house is this? Oh, Patty, I already saw that. I feel like I haven't been to all the houses yet. Add Camel Frog in an old Wild World town. I actually had him in... I want to say he was in my New Leaf town for a little bit, but that was that was Ribot. I had Ribot, not Camel Frog. Ribot was kind of cool. Peaches? I planted peaches next to her house. <laughs> I don't even know if I planned that or not. Oh, she's a horse. Good afternoon. Do you need something from me? Or are you just checking out houses? It's Milo. What on earth have you been doing? If you don't poke your head in here once in a while, you'll fade from my memory, you know? So tell me, what do you want? Let me think for a sec. I've got it. A while back, I lent my glasses case to Chico. The thing is, I need to get it back. But I'm pretty sure he forgot about it. Can you get it back? 
sure. I don't know why you'd lend your glasses case. First of all, you don't wear glasses, and second of all, like, why he get his own glasses case? Hmm. Like, I'd rather just give him the money to get him a new one, you know? Here, stop borrowing things from people that you don't even need. Here's the money for a glasses case. <laughs> Do whatever you want with it. Ribot is cool. He lives near Stella in my hmm. town. Spike's house. Now we're back up at the, uh, at my house. I'm glad they changed the houses. I think that the houses, having only four player characters and having them all in the same place was... I didn't like that. It's probably my least favorite thing about this game, but I still... I don't... I don't, I don't hate it. I just think that it was like... Um... <laughs> handkerchief. Um... It's my least favorite thing about this game. And the fact that all the houses in every town are in the same place. But it's not bad. It's actually... It, it's better in my opinion than Wild World where... All four player characters shared the same house. I didn't like that at all. I watched someone playing this once and they had to retrieve a handkerchief. They had to retrieve a handkerchief. Someone borrowed a handkerchief, sneezed into it or something, something gross, and then never gave it back. <laughs> it's gross. Cody, is this Cody's house? Yeah. Hey, he came in. He's like, what are you doing in my in my house? <laughs> What's going down, clown? That's awesome. I never get tired of saying that line. <laughs> What's new? Nothing. It's all good. Um, so he was hanging out at the trash area before, which is up here. Somewhere. So whatever you dump in the trash area is picked up every Tuesday and Thursday. You never can see, like, them actually taking it, but it happens. Monday and Thursday. 6 a.m. So if you drop something in the trash can and you forget about it, or you want it back, you can go get it. But if the trash person takes it, you can't get it anymore. Astrid. A blast from my past. Really, I haven't seen you in what feels like a lifetime. Have you gone far? Did you go off on epic journey to find rare furniture? I did, actually. I've been playing all the other Animal Crossing games that came out in the last 13 years, so... Yeah, I found a bunch of cool furniture. Can I help out? What excellent timing. I want you to go over to Tangie's house... ...and get my precious glasses case. So... It wasn't Tangie that asked me for that originally. It was someone else. I'll bring this right back, I swear. Trust me. Yeah, sure, Tangie. I haven't seen you since. Dang! <laughs> Hubburn! Got her. Yeah, I'll do it. Man. They are ruthless. They are just ruthless. Living in the attic is dumb. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Why is everyone lending out glasses cases? I don't know. It's so weird. So Stella's house is down here? No? It's over here. And then down this way. Stella! Animals are so irresponsible. This is a very popular glasses case. I'm willing to bet that... Um, well, I guess there are two of them. There should be two of them. Because whoever I go to get it from is going to have it. Both of them are going to have it. Um, Milo. It's Milo, right? Seeing you again after 159 months makes it clear how much we've both changed, you know? Bada bing. <laughs> She's awesome. My house has changed too, for the better, I think. You noticed it, didn't you? Um... I don't remember your house before, but I'm pretty sure nothing has changed. I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same as it was 13 years ago. I have reason to believe that's probably true. 
So you must have had some reason for coming to see me, right? Uh, talk to me. That's all I want. Just talk. Summer's the best time for catching bugs. I bet all the boys are going crazy right now. You know it. <laughs> Seriously? You can even catch beetles and make them wrestle each other. If you ever catch one, you have to promise to come show me. Um, a beetle? Maybe. Okay. It plays its own little tune. Interesting. Interesting. So she is pretty cute. She's actually pretty nice to me, at least. That's better than some of the villagers I've run into. Just totally straight up mean. She's pretty nice, though. Alright, well, I think that's pretty much all of my town that I've explored, or at least Atlantis. I think I've shown everything off. Let me see if I miss anything. I've been all over, I'm pretty sure. Her house is much nicer in New Leaf. <laughs> Chico, Taylor, I've been to all these places. So, let's get on the old train station. So in this game, you can actually visit other towns. And the way that you do that is you go to the train station. And you can only visit towns that are in your memory card slot. So, we're taking a trip. You must be very excited. Please wait here. It'll be just a moment. Next train arriving any moment, so let's get you ready. Saving the data? Whew. <sighs> Thank you for your patience. Your pre-departure preparations are now complete. Mm. Train has just pulled in. This is the town of Avon that we're going to. I don't remember anything about this town because I think I made it like as, as a last minute, like, I'm super bored of this game, so let me make this new town kind of a thing. Um, and then I stopped playing the game completely, so... So you couldn't... Yeah, you couldn't play multiplayer at all. Like, um, in this town, if another player wanted to play, of course you couldn't play at the same time. Um... And if you wanted to go to someone else's town, you could only go to the town on the other memory card, but they couldn't be playing while you were there. So... So only one, one player character is ever active at the same time. Hey look, it's Joan. Thank you for boarding. We hope your trip is both comfortable and enjoyable. Next stop is Avon. Remember when we arrive at our destination, please wait. Well, I didn't I didn't catch that. Probably not important. Thank you for waiting. Current local time in Avon is 341. Uh, which is weird because it's not it's not 341. <laughs> uh, anywhere else. So maybe I put um, Maybe I increased the time a little bit on that for some reason. I don't know why I would do that, but maybe I did. Hey, have we met before? Don't tell me. You're you're Milo from Atlantis. Still got it. Score one for the old memory banks. How long has it been? Uh, 13 years. <laughs> it's also not August either. You're right. It's not. Well, tomorrow is August. Not tomorrow. Tuesday is August. So what are you up to today? Are you moving again? Uh, pff, taking a trip. Taking a trip over to Avon. That sure sounds like fun. I've always thought it was important to get out and see the world while you're young, and you still can. I'm so young. I need to see more of the world myself. What in the world am I talking about? So how are things, huh? How's life? Alright. I've been depressed for 13 years, so I haven't left my house. I suppose that's not bad, but it sounds kind of lacking in the excitement department. That's why you're going to Avon. You're going to whoop it up, <laughs> parte. Um, you could say I'm getting turned. That's what that's what you would say today. We're about to pull into Avon, and we're here. I am babbling like a kitten on catnip. Hope you find some of that excitement, and you're looking that you're looking for. Good luck painting the town red.
So after this, there's one more town to show off. One more town that I know I, I built and had a good time playing in for a little while. But it's not my original town. My, my original town I can't find. So I will, I will track it down and I will show it off. But I can't yet. Welcome to Avon. And none of your villagers ever knocked on your door to check on you in 13 years. After all the favors I did for them, after everything, after as nice as I was and helped them out and talked to them every day. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hey, look. So if you dig this up, there's actually going to be money in there. There's a thousand bells. And you can plant that money in the golden spot. It'll plant a tree. That's how you. That's how you get uh, money trees in this game. You can only plant them in the golden spot. So this will follow the current all the way to the end, but you can't get it back once it's in the river. It's kind of funny. Um, so here, I don't remember anything about this town. I think I only made this town as a joke, as because I had this extra memory card just laying around. I was like, let me make this other town. And I think I may have even made it to try to get a jump on the stock market, or possibly just to uh, just to have something different. I think I was bored. I don't know. I really have no idea. I think it was just an extra town that I could visit whenever I wanted to. So I'm going to explore a little bit, but I'm going to go a lot faster than last time, because I think last time it was I was taking my time with it. This one's Nook and Go. Nook and Go. I like I I love the billiard ball shirts. Those are pretty cool. Two items for sale. I'll buy something here. Who lives here? So when I first started this episode, I ac I accidentally loaded this town up. Um and uh, the name name of that character was called Trent. I don't even know why I named him Trent. I I don't even I couldn't even begin to tell you what what my, what my thought process was there. And Avon, I don't even like Avon. There there is a city of in in the state that I live. There's a city close by called Avon, and maybe I thought it was a cool city or something. I don't know. I don't even know why it was in my head, but whatever. Also, when I was younger, my mom collected Avon products or sold Avon products. That was back when, like, that was the cool thing to do. Like, it was what you did. Uh, Mallory, I can hear perfectly well without you raising your voice like that. Quack. <laughs> Avon Cosmetics is what my mom used to... She bought a lot of them. Maybe she sold them, too. I can't remember, but she didn't, she didn't do... She didn't do it for very long. I just remember Avon stuff coming in and mom wanting to sell it or something. Um, but regardless, you say you're Milo. What a childish name. Wow. I'm Mallory. Well, aren't you going to tell me how lovely my name is? Uh, no, I'm not. You know, there may be hope for you yet. I'm not going to let you boss me around, Mallory. <laughs> Get out of here. So this town has, like, nobody living in it. Let's see the map here. I can't even look at the map. Because I don't live here. Childish name. Harsh. I mean, it is kind of a childish name. I actually thought for a while that whenever I, uh... If I ever got a dog, I would name it Milo. So, that's kind of mean. But... For me, in my mind, it's kind of a dog's name. Who's this person? Gabby, don't be so nervous when you're trying to make a good first impression. Does cuteness intimidate you? My name's Gabby. Isn't it a cute name? Yeah, I know it is. What's your name? Because I'm willing to bet that it's less cute than mine. Milo? Pretty cute, but I'm still the champ. Anyway, I hope to see more of you. <laughs> She's like, is that, that's a girl, right? I'm pretty sure. I don't remember if this game actually differentiates the color of the name to the to the sex of the character it does so trope's a boy i knew there was still someone i hadn't met i have you now 
Got a problem with that? Because I'm real good at fixing problems, you get me? <laughs> That's much better. I certainly hope that I'll be glad to know you. Uh, so Gabby's a girl. She's basically just totally hitting on me all the time. I like this area right here. That's kind of cool. I've obviously played this game a little bit because there's a shirt right here. Which is weird. Anacotti, that's my name. Cannoli, no reason to beat around the bush. And you're Milo, right? What's your name? Well, super, super to meet you, Milo. Cannoli. And this, uh, this lake waterfall thing is actually kind of cool too because it's not like a huge area it's just kind of a subtle waterfall that is kind of hidden by all the caverns and stuff I, I like it i think it's cool if we keep moving oh it's a penguin <gasps> is that aurora oh it's rolled never mind i get those confused all the time what's happening uh have we met before B -b buddy because i don't remember you my name is Rold, and you're... I got it, Milo. Good meeting you. Everyone's coming over to say hi. You're not from around here, are you? It's nice to meet you. By the way, my name is Bob. If you ever see me wandering around, don't be bashful. Just come up and say hi. Sure. You seem like a nice dude. Rold just moved out of my new, <laughs> my new wild world town today. I like the penguins a lot. The penguins are pretty cool. They fit they fit the theme of Atlantis, kind of. Um, maybe. Ducks and penguins. That's all I want. I haven't lived in Avon too long, but as far as I know, it's a pretty nice place. What is? Where is my mind? I'm scatterbrained today. You're Milo, aren't you? I look forward to seeing you around. You hear that? She's like... I look forward to seeing you around, winky face. <laughs> I'm like, all right, cool. Quetzal, what's going down? I'm Quetzal. I don't think I've had the pleasure of meeting you. You're Milo. Whoa, not to be rude, but that's one weird name. I mean, seriously. Really? The guy named Quetzal saying my name is weird? Are you serious? It's real easy to remember, so I guess that's cool. Scree, gotta, gotta see the silver lining. I got her picture today in Wild World. Nice. Here we are on the beach of Avon. There's a lot of stuff just like laying around. So I'm not sure if I was doing something with this town or not. Or if I was just like, I'll drop this stationery here and never pick it up again. That's exactly what I did. I never picked it up again. So many weeds. I'm not even sure like how long it's been since this this character played this game. Who's this? Pudge? Yeah. Because you look kind of familiar, no? I'm just bugging you out then. Anyway, I'm Pudge. You must live here in Avon, don't you? You're Milo, aren't you? Yeah, I've heard about you. Drop by if you're in the area. How have you heard about me? It's been 13 years since I played this game, and I just talked to some of the villagers in your town, like like 30 seconds ago for the first time how have you heard I don't get it Pudge is another villager I love he's in Mayberry Mayberry is a pretty sweet town pretty sweet town hey another uh, Able Sisters on the beach that's kind of cool Town Square and not in the middle of the town. It's actually kind of on the on the west side up against this wall. Which I don't like all that much. I've I've expressed my uh, distaste for town town squares that are next to walls like that. I don't like them. Here's that waterfall again. And the rock here is pretty cool. I absolutely love this game. This game is pretty awesome. I forgot how much I like it, but it's very limited in what you can do. That's the only downside. And if you make patterns, you have to use... Like, you have to use a grid system 
to make patterns, which isn't that bad. I made a couple of patterns that were kind of cool. Hey, don't go inside. Uh, so you can't use any like QR codes or anything to, to make patterns. I did not know there was this many green things. This is a lot of green stuff. Anyway, Chuck, this is my house. What makes you think you can just try to allow your way into this my sanctum sanctorum? You say your name's Milo? What makes you think I care? Oh gosh. I hope you know it's a little bit rude just to walk right in like you know like you own the place because you don't. I do. It's alright, I guess. I'll forget it this time, jerky. See you around. Um, I did see a black animal up there. I wonder who that was. I don't even know. Could have been Kiki. The cat, I think. She's probably moved since then. Oh, she went down. Great. <laughs> so while I was in that house, she ran all the way over here. And then ran all the way down here. She ran, sprinted, to get down here. And now here she is. Kiki, hello. You don't look familiar. By any chance, do I know you? Kitty cat? Can't remember. You have to tell me. What's your name? Milo. I'm sorry. I just can't remember where we've met. I promise I'll remember you next time we meet, okay? This is the first time we've met? Well, I feel silly. I have Kiki in my town. Sweet. I shouldn't jump to conclusions like that. But still, I'm glad we've met now. Stop by again. It's Kiki, another one of my beloved villagers. They all live in Avon. Avon's like... It's the haven of super cool villagers, apparently. All the villagers you know and love live in this game. In this town. So, I don't usually like areas like this. But I remember I, I put something up here. Or I was gonna put something up here. But I don't usually like it when, when there's this, like... This one, like, extended area that's, like, way past everything else. I don't usually like that. But I think I just dealt with it, because this town wasn't really that important to me. Which is kind of funny, because all the, all the good villagers that are out there are in this town. And I'm pretty sure it's a town that wasn't even important to me at all. Is that her again? Let's go back up to the top area here. I feel like I've talked to everybody. Let's check the map. Let's see if I missed anything. Kiki, Mallory, she yelled at me. Bob and Rolled, Twerp, Valise, Bessie, and Biddy. I don't think I talked to them. Uh, Quetzal, Chevre, Pudge, Chuck. I haven't talked to Savannah. Uh, and Anaconda and Gabby. Let's go talk to Savannah and these two. Bessie and Biddy. I still don't have access to a map, even though I've seen the map. Savannah. Uh, I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> I think there's a uh, bridge here. Yep. I like these bridges, too. They're very cool. Savannah is a zebra. There she is. That's cool. Nice to meet you. I haven't lived in Avon long, but as far as I know, it's a pretty nice place. Where's my mind? I'm scatterbrained today. My name is Savannah. You're Milo, aren't you? Right. I look forward to seeing you around, little one. I've never had her, but I know of her. Alright, let's keep moving over here towards the other two. Nikki85, welcome to the stream today. Just playing a little bit here in Animal Crossing for the GameCube. This is a secondary town that I had. Um, I hadn't seen it in a long time. So I just wanted to kind of check it out and see what was going on. I've got one more town to visit, and then we're going to try to see if I can get to the island, maybe. Which would be weird, because... The island is on the Game Boy in this game. I'll try to get that to make that happen today. 
I never played Animal Crossing on GameCube before. Nice. This is pretty awesome, right? This game has it all. It has everything. There's Bessie. Oh no! Not another fan, my dear. Curse my movie star looks and winning personality. No? You say your name is Milo? Is that so, my dear? And you're sure you're not a fan? My name is Biddy. It's been sort of a pleasure meeting you. My dear? Thanks. Who's this? Oh. <laughs> it's beautiful. I like... I, I kind of wish they hadn't changed the character models. Because I, I love the way this character looks. And they changed it just, just enough to make it... I, I didn't like it at first when they changed the character model. But I've grown to love it in the new in new leaf and everything. But I really miss this character model. It's really cool looking. Where's my mind? I'm Scatterbrain. My name is Bessie. You're Milo, aren't you? Welcome to the club, Buttercup. Hey, there's another map. Everything looks awesome. There's also some subtle differences in the grass. If you look at the grass, and this might be present in New Leaf also, but here we've got triangle shapes in the grass. Um, you can see little little triangle pattern design in the grass there. How's everyone's weekend? Mine was actually pretty cool. It's the last weekend I have before I have to go back to work tomorrow, so I'm not too thrilled about that. But it'll be okay. Anyway, so pay attention to the uh, the grass here, triangle shapes. We're going to go back to the main town and then go back to a different town. The third town that I have access to today. Why is there a rock here? That's a very bad placement for that rock. Uh, great, thanks. How is yours? Circles in that town. Also, these giant, like, wooden, or dirt patches, I don't necessarily like them, but they, they're kind of cool. Those are not present in the new games. I have the weekend off from Respite, so I went out to a party last night, had a few social things, a few social adult things. My stomach is gross today. <laughs> Yeah, I stopped. Uh, I stopped doing those adult things when I was uh, just a few years ago. I I didn't enjoy them anymore, and it turns out I never really enjoyed them in the first place. I just thought I did for some reason. But I'm sorry that you feel bad today. If it makes you feel any better, I felt terrible on Friday. I actually uh, I got real dizzy. I had to lay in my bed for a little while. I was super hot, sweating all over the place. It was disgusting. So, um, so I'm sorry that you feel bad, but I, I was there just a few days ago. <laughs> that's all. That's, that's the point of telling you that I was, uh, it was only for like an hour. I was just laying there with my eyes closed. I was totally dizzy. I couldn't move. I was sweating all over the place, but Oh, so it looks like I'm here to dance already knows. <laughs> so these are triangles. Triangle grass, square, square snow. Circle grass, star snow. Square grass, circle snow. Um, I thought there were more combinations than that, too. Uh, but let's, we'll take a look here. Let's go back to my town. I'm going to save town data. So... I know it all. <laughs> I'm starting to think that you do, actually. But there are there are some uh, subtle differences in every town. Of course, you saw the the train station here actually is more of a, a brown, like a brownish railing. There was like 12 different train stations in, in Animal Crossing. This one has a blue roof and like like tan kind of uh, wood paneling. And then, I think mine was like red, maybe? I don't remember. 
But they had, um, there was 12 different train stations you can get. And they were also, they all gave you like a rating. The way this game worked it, is it had a, an A rating, a B rating, or a C rating. And every town was given a rating when you first start it. And that determined what kind of items were more easily found in your town. Or what kind of items were um, more difficult to find in your town. Like more rare items. It was kind of neat. It was kind of neat. Please wait until the train comes to a complete stop. Don't remove the memory card either. That would be bad. I don't recommend that. One second here. arriving shortly. I like that old style train. It is kind of cool. Didn't um, New Leaf just have a car or something that took you to town? And then it had like a, a gate that you could go to. Which I didn't like that either. I thought that was weird. If this isn't a wild whiskey twister, whisker twister, don't you think it's weird us bumping into each other? It's not. We just saw each other like 10 seconds ago. What in the world are you talking about? You think I'm following you around or something? I'm not stalking you, Milo. What are you, completely insane? That'd be so creepy. <laughs> How was it? It was fun. I could tell from that blissful look on your face. I feel something on your trip was fruitful, but I can't put my paw on, on what? Something, though. Something. Anyway, I'm glad to hear it was good. So mine is more of a, uh, a steely, it's got a blue roof and a steel frame to it, which I, I think was perfect for this town. <laughs> I'd get up and change seats if he was bothering me. And also my grass has little circles on it, which is kind of cool. The T-Squirtle, welcome to the stream today. Thanks for stopping by. Playing some Animal Crossing for the GameCube, so you'll notice here that my grass... There was nothing buried there. That's weird. My grass has circles on it. I am doing well. Doing very well, actually. I'm feeling a lot better. I got a little sick on Friday, but I'm feeling a lot better. And it carried over into Saturday a little bit. Um, but I feel a lot better than I did, I did earlier. I haven't talked to this person yet. Are my eyes screwed up or what? Over 155 months have passed since you disappeared, you know? I just figured you'd left for good. Hey, so what can I do for you? Nothing. It's all good. Uh, that's good. So, we're going to change towns here in a second and go back to another town that I created. Which, it's kind of a funny story on this town, this, this next town I'm going to go to. It's one of my favorite towns. As far as, like, when I started it, I thought it was just a really cool idea. And it was something that uh, was brought to my attention from an old CBS show. Which we'll get into the town here, and I'll, I'll kind of explain once I get there. Animal Crossing makes everything better. Everything. Uh. Changing memory cards here. Okay. So we're going to go back into the train station and go to a different town. So this town is, uh, you'll see the name here in a second. Taking the trip. Please wait here. It'll be just a moment. Let's get you ready for departure. Saving the town in Atlantis. Uh, Animal Crossing makes everything better. It does. I actually uh, did some shiny hunting last night and some... Smash Brothers on Saturday morning, but it was, uh, it was I couldn't play Smash Brothers. I was I was not reacting quick enough. I was getting destroyed. 
so that was uh I'm gonna have to play it like throughout the week and get a little bit and try to practice a little bit but I was I was having a tough time I still had fun uh, doing the stream and I'll, I'll do it again on this Saturday morning so that'll be cool and then possibly later tonight as long as I can get everything done around the house um, I'll be playing some Splatoon 2. So, that'd be cool. That will be cool. So here, they say the name. So the next stop is Arcadia. So the name of this town is Arcadia. It's uh, a town that I really wanted to like do a theme for, and I probably will. I have, I have a third copy of Animal Crossing. I probably will go back and make a town called Arcadia. Um... But it was based, it was loosely based off the idea of a show um, back around the time this game was actually uh, relevant. Um, the show was called Joan of Arcadia. And I thought it was a really cool like idea for a show. Um, basically the show, the premise of the show was like um, this young girl was visited by God like time and time again. He would, he would kind of push her to help other people um i mean I, I don't know how i don't want to get into a whole a religious debate or anything like that and my views on religion have changed since then but i feel like I, I thought the show was a really it was a cool idea and a cool concept i enjoyed watching it and so i made this this town and the main character in this town is named joan uh, because i thought that was actually kind of an interesting idea uh this is blanca blanca have, haven't we met before? What's the matter? Why are you laughing like that? You got no face! Are you kidding me? This is insane. Will you draw me another face? Um, sure, I'm gonna give her my signature face. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Drawing in this is really tough too, by the way. This is not gonna come out very well. Not well at all. <laughs> That's good. That's all I got. Is this okay? Yes. Are you all done? Kind of seems like you just scribbled something down. Oh, that's weird. I don't know why it would seem like that. Face beggars can't be face choosers, I suppose. It'll have to do me for a little while. Thanks, I guess. You're welcome. About to arrive in Arcadia. So this one has a, uh, a dark, like, smoky uh, wood paneling to it and a, a, a orangish uh, roof, which I, I love this, uh, this train station. It's my favorite train station. It's really cool looking. Also have circles. Joan paid off her house, so that's kind of cool. kind of neat. It never occurred to me to have multiple characters in one town. Never thought, it's not something I ever thought I would do. Um, because I didn't really see it as necessary. So I just kept making new towns. Lovely end table. Let's see what's inside the house. I didn't actually go into Trent's house in uh, Avon because I didn't think there was anything interesting in there. So this is the, I think, lovely stuff? Or the Thanksgiving stuff. That's what this stuff is. Yeah, this is the turkey stuff from Thanksgiving. Wow. <laughs> I prefer one character per town for my games. And it has it has a certain charm to it, but in, in New Leaf it's a little different because I feel like there's a lot more... Um, there's a lot more opportunity. Um, I forget what this thing is. I think this is a glitch. I don't remember. Because it's, it's a triangle item that doesn't really do anything. We've got bunnies here. Snowboard. All kinds of stuff. I'm going to look that up real quick. Because I feel like that's a glitched item. Let's 
see. Go in the basement here. Take a look at what's inside the basement. Lights are off. Oh, it's a bunch of, bunch of gyroids. And pawns. I think I was going to build a chess set down here in the basement, but I never did it. I have a bunch of black pawns. I was going to I was going to buy a bunch of other stuff to put down here to build a chess set, but I never never actually came to fruition. That's okay though. Um, let's see. The miniature tree glitch is a glitch found in Animal Crossing whereupon for no apparent reason a tree would stop growing. It's been theorized that this is caused by building growing or expanding to a point where there is no gap between said building and a tree. This can be further established by the fact that trees planted with no space between them and a building will wilt. It seems that there is no wilted stage for stage 2, 3, and 4 of tree growth, causing the tree to merely stop growing instead of dying. The disadvantage of this glitch is that it prevents fruit growth on said tree, potentially wasting the player at most 1500 bells every four days um, so that that would explain that one thing uh, that happened in, in the last town is uh, ooh, a bug <laughs> so that would definitely explain the thing that happened in that in the other town is that that tree stopped growing I didn't know that was actually a glitch in the game um, walking on water glitch villager turn glitch if the villager is fishing on the dock and the player talks to the villager at a pixel perfect spot the villager will turn their head left and right forever unless the conversation is ended by the player that's weird I don't want to do that but they don't talk about glitched items there so that's weird It does look cool to have a mini tree. I think that's actually kind of neat. I'm glad that it's... I'm glad it didn't grow. It, it stands out. I just... I, I guess that may explain why it's like that. Maybe there's an, there's something there that... Prevents it from growing. Perhaps. I'm not even sure how this tree grew at all. Because it's right next to the trash area. Um, but oh well. Let's see going down this way we got some villagers who is this it's Portia you don't have to shout I'm right here ruffian and I have delicate ears so show a little restraint your name is what Milo you simply must be joking what a sad name oh sorry I didn't mean it or at least I didn't mean for you to hear it Wow isn't it a fabulous name no it's it's not. Your name is as bad as my name. How about that? Jerk. She was really mean. I'm gonna be honest. Pockets are full. Thought that might happen. Continually moving here, we've got this character. Puddles. Pink Frog. That's my name. No reason to beat around the bush. And you're Milo, right? That's your name? Well... Super to meet you, Milo. Thanks. I think it's super to meet me, too. We've got Vesta. <laughs> My name is Vesta. How are you? Are you new in town? How splendid. Would you, uh, would you like to be friends? Really? Great. Terrific. I'm so glad I got up the courage to ask. Okay, I think I can remember that. You know, this, this game actually brings up an idea that this person just brought up is like no one really asks to be your friend anymore it's not really something that like you really ever talk about it's it's just like hey do you want like we're hey we're just friends we've hung out three times in the last two weeks I guess we're friends now you know no one no one really ever asks to be friends and if you do ask someone to be your friend what is what are the obligations that come with that you know it's, it's a weird social thing that no one ever does anymore. And I'm not sure if anybody ever did it in the first place, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's keep on exploring here. 
I actually think I wanted this town to be more of like an, an arcade kind of a, a theme uh, with like uh, with like video game themes and arcade themes and stuff like that. I think that's why I called it Arcadia, but it felt wrong to not have a character named Joan in this town. Um, but it's an interesting idea, interesting lore that can go along with that. Who's this? Lobo. I certainly don't know you. Nice name. They call me Lobo. I'm glad that's out of the way. If there's one thing I hate, it's awkward mm. intros. I remember asking a girl if she wanted to be my friend back in fifth grade. She said yes, but it would be awkward now. As an adult, yeah. Hello. You don't look familiar by any chance. Do I know you? I can't remember. You have to tell me. What's your name? Milo. I'm sorry. I just can't remember where we've met. I'll remember you next time. This is the first time we've met? Well, I feel silly. Hey, you know what? Thanks for not being weird about it. Hey, look, there's flowers up here. Next to Nooks. Th this is back in a day where, uh, by the way, where flowers didn't breed. Like, I planted all these flowers. <laughs> I don't know why, but I did. I planted all those flowers. And they are so rude about my name. They hate my name. I'm gonna buy something here so that oh, I can't buy anything here. My, my things are full. Oh no, I have a. What ticket is this? August ticket. What's that for? That's weird. I can't believe the flowers didn't wilt. I don't even think in this game that you had to water the flowers. I'm pretty sure you didn't. You didn't have to water the flowers. In fact, I don't even think there's a watering can. If there is, I never bought it. I don't think there is one, though. How weird is that? That's weird. So that is all of the the northern half of Arcadia. Let's go down to the next area. Oh, this is that sound. This is the music that has a cat in it. Yeah, so if you listen if you listen to this music, Every so often, there's a cat that meows. It's really weird. <laughs> yep. Hey, look, who's this? Oh, Anacati. She's also in the other town. Can do. I'm a people animal. Hee <laughs> hee. My name's Anacati, so, like, what's yours? Milo, huh? Totally nice to know you. So this this character is like totally different than the one that I met in the other town. The one in the other town was terrible. Like she was super mean to me. Uh, PlayStation 2, welcome to the stream today. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Playing some Animal Crossing today on the GameCube. This is not normally what I do on Sunday mornings, but I think it's a nice change of pace from uh, New Leaf. So, this is a, a, a second town, or a third town, I guess, that I had. Just kind of laying around. Classic Animal Crossing is the best. You don't have to shout, I'm right here, Ufda. And I have dedica delicate ears. Wish I had a GameCube and this game still. Uh, Kappa Halo? Thanks for stopping by and hanging out today. Um, this game is... One of my favorite games of all time. It'd be hard to give it like... It'd, it'd be hard to say this is my favorite game of all time. But it's definitely my top my top five. Maybe top three. Uh, gamer... <laughs> uh, 
rectangular prism is my fave console. I like to play Luigi's Mansion. I'm guessing you meant... <laughs> I know what you meant. I think, I, I think I'm speaking your language now. It was actually... The GameCube, the game Tetrahedron, is uh, probably my second favorite console after the N64. Um, I loved the GameCube, and all the games that came out for it were just really fun. So, didn't get a lot of support, but that's okay. It was still fun. Quetzal's also in the other town, which is kind of strange. The game Polygon. What bug was that? That was weird. Here we've got... Ooh, who's this? Oh, I, th I thought that was Poncho. I was going to flip out if that was Poncho. Nice to meet you. I haven't lived in Arcadia too long, but as far as I know, it's a pretty nice place. Where is my mind? I'm scatterbrained today. You're Milo, aren't you? I look forward to seeing you around. Poncho is a bear that's in my new leaf town. He's like... He's weird because he's like... You wouldn't know it by looking at him or talking to him, but he's like super cool. He's one of the coolest villagers in the whole game. Um, but he's like really low-key about it. He doesn't, he doesn't promote his coolness. Olive is like the gray maple. Gray maple. Who is this person? Animal. Mikasa Esukasa. I don't know what made you decide to stop by, but welcome to my house. I'm totally cool with meeting new people and all, so what's your name? Hipster? Did they have hipsters back in the 90s? Or the 2000s? I'll keep an eye out for you. Drop on by whenever. I don't remember there being hipsters back then. <laughs> they were hipsters in the 2000s. See, I didn't know that. I dug up a fossil. So a little while ago, we watched um, some of the old commercials for the Animal Crossing GameCube game. Um, and they showed off, like, the, the villager, like, digging up a fossil. But it was, it was already a... Um, um, discovered fossil. Like, the fossil had already been appraised, but it was buried in the dirt, which is weird. The, the commercial made it seem like you'll be digging up actual, like, T-Rex fossils and stuff, but you dig up, you dig up, like, bad, you dig up unappraised fossils, and you have to send them off. So blathers won't even look at them. You have to send them off. And you get them back the next day, all appraised and ready to go. <laughs> Pick your darn weeds. I actually am not picking the weeds because this is not my main town. First, but also second. Hey, it's Cody again. Haven't seen you around here before, have I? Cody's pretty cool. I like Cody a lot. I would not mind having Cody in my town. RD Lover 148. Welcome to the stream today. Thanks for stopping by. There is room for everyone to start following me. If you have not hit that follow button yet, make sure that you do. I'm trying to get to 350 followers by the end of this week. Um, so hopefully that'll happen pretty soon. I'm about nine followers away, so any help you can give me will be great. Are you visiting from out of town? Welcome to Arcadia, Yepper. I'm the mayor here. I'm not bragging about it, but I just, I just thought you'd like to know who the most important tortoise in town is. I don't believe in follow buttons. Well, regardless of whether or not you believe in them, they exist. <laughs> and you could totally press it. <clears throat> Let's see. So yeah, I think it was in Wild World where Blathers actually was able to appraise the fossil on the spot. He doesn't in this game. But I'm not picking the weeds because, you know, I'm, I may not play this town again for a very long time. And if I do decide to play it again, and I might, I might start getting into the Animal Crossing game on GameCube again. 
Um, Already lover 148, thank you so much for the follow. I actually do streams on Animal Crossing once a week, at least, on Sunday mornings, 11.30 Eastern. Um, I'm probably going to play Animal Crossing New Leaf later on in the week. Um, so I'll be doing that just as a, as a makeup for this for today. Um, and then I also do videos on, what was I going to say? I do a lot of shiny hunting and, and uh, all kinds of stuff. I, I normally would be doing New Leaf on Sunday morning, but um, today is not... Today I wanted to get into the GameCube game because I, I finally got everything working so I can actually do uh, streaming on the actual hardware for the game. So um, I, I don't have Luigi's Mansion. It's one of the only games I don't have, just to answer your question there. Um, yeah, I do streams all the time. I'll probably be on Splatoon 2 a little bit later tonight. As long as I get everything done around the house today. Look at these rocks. This is kind of the same waterfall as the last town, except it has... There's no, like, cliff right here. No cliff. Oh, the poster back here. I was like, what are you talking about? Poster? <laughs> that is the uh, Splatoon. It's actually a cloth. It's actually a cloth I got from Society6. Um, I've got a new one coming in. I'll be replacing it here soon. Who's this? Frigga. I remember Frigga. Are you selling something? Because if you are, I don't want any. You're not? Well, I wish you'd said something. If I'd known you were looking for friends, I'd have been nicer. And you're Milo. That seems easy to remember. You stole my villager. I actually think I might get an Animal Crossing poster for back here. But there actually is one right over here on this side. That's an Animal Crossing poster that I took from an old job. It's pretty cool. It's one of, one of my favorite things that I have right now. Uh, who's that? It's an elephant. Come back. Come back, elephant. Who are you? Dizzy. And what's wrong with your brain? Normal people don't barge into strangers' houses. Wow, he just called me like... Wow. I've met a lot of folks, and there ain't a one of them that's come charging into my house like that. Milo, right? I'll let it slide, but there's no telling how the others might react. Be careful from now on. Do you have Cookie or Caroline? I don't think I do. Um, in fact, I haven't, even, I haven't even looked at the map for this game yet, for this town. Walk back into his house. Okay. <laughs> I bought the Wild World book, and inside is an 11 by 16 poster. I need to find an odd size frame for it. Hmm. Check out uh, Michael's, if there is one near you. I don't know if there is. Michael's or um, what you could do, they have those little like clamps. They're like little stick things that clamp onto the poster. So maybe a frame is not the answer. Maybe, maybe just clamping the, the top and bottom would work out just as well. I've seen some really cheap ones in Walmart, but I wouldn't recommend those. They have better ones out there. Um, so I'm inside his house. I like his little toilet over here. He can sit on it. <laughs> it's so bad. He's watching me. What is going on? That's just weird. What a weirdo. 
I went to Michael's on Friday, but they only had 11 by 14 and 11 by 17. So you could you could probably get one that's a little bit bigger, and just make sure that it's like super like center inside the frame. Um, you could even go like 12 by 17, and you just have like a if you put it center inside the frame, you'll have a white border around the whole thing if you do it right. Um, which may or may not be good. I don't know if you if you would like that or not, but something that. Uh, I don't know if I would try to order a custom one. I'd, I'd probably just settle with the uh, the white border, but it's up to you. It's your poster. Fossil time. Swap it. Let's get rid of this uh, Lloyd. So here's a map. Good map of the town. One thing I miss, and it sounds kind of lame, but I, I do kind of miss the the breaks in the town. So if you look up here, we have the cliffs up here. This is the cliff, and this is the brick that I'm talking about. Like, I miss this. I actually had a town that had two of these in the town. It was really cool. Like, there was one here, then there was like a little section that went across, and there was another one. A little further down it was it was very neat I thought it was uh, something that could be unique there's actually a way in Animal Crossing New Leaf uh, to have the beach only on the south side of your town to not even have a beach on on either side I haven't figured out like I haven't tried to do it but it might be kind of cool which would make it more of like a classic type of town where on both sides of the town you have these walls. Not that. <laughs> uh, but that might be kind of cool. It's something that you don't get very often. It's very rare. But when you do get it, it's kind of neat. I feel like I've talked to everybody. I don't know. Let me check around. I mentioned it before how I miss the acres. I guess in some ways I miss the idea that everything was sectioned off into acres. I don't miss the acres specifically, just that everything was sectioned off. Uh, what am I dropping? Airy shirt? Stone coin? A mop? Let's drop that mop. Get rid of that mop. I have so many fossils right now. Did I already dig that one up? Yeah, I did. Never mind. I might. I might try to pick this up again. If I find my original town, I definitely will. Because uh, my original town was like... Put a lot of work into it. <laughs> And it's been, you know, it's been probably longer since I've played that town than I've played this town. But this town, not this town, but the Atlantis town that I'm going back to in a second. I played that one every single day for a year. Made sure that I was there and played it for at least 15 minutes. And it was super fun. I had a great time. So I may, I may decide to come back to this game and play it again. But it's been a while. It's been a long time. And there's so many things about it that are so different. Is that another... Yep. Fossil. Oh, it's a pitfall. I don't want that. I'm trying to find the map to make sure I've talked to everybody. I think I have. But I don't remember... Back over this away and back over up this away. Um, let's see, we've got Vesta and Puddles. I think I talked to them. Portia. I haven't talked to Ava. Cody, Frigga, Caesar. I haven't talked to him either. 
Um, Anacoli, I've talked to her. Dizzy, I talked to that person. Freya, Quetzal, Bubbles, and Olive. I don't think I've talked to Bubbles. I did talk to Olive. So Bubbles, Ava, and Caesar. Okay. Caesar, I think, is over here. The chicken and Caesar, the gorilla. I'm not sure how you know that. <laughs> I don't know any of these people. I'm not home right now. Vesta's house. Bubbles is the hippo. Oh, I did see her, I guess. Puddles. Whose house is this? <laughs> Kimsey Callie. So many weeds. So many. It's only because I don't feel like... There's Caesar. What are you looking at? What are you talking to me? I don't see any other people around here, so were you? Oh, hey, sorry. I'm sorry. I have no idea what came over me just then. I'm not usually so surly. Oh, wait. Yes, I am. <laughs> Bubbles the jerk. Anyway, I'm Caesar. It's a pleasure meeting you, Highness. Why does he call me Highness? That's weird. Um, yeah, so I, I'm not picking the weeds because there's a really easy way to get rid of all the weeds if you play at night. I'm much more likely to do that than pick all the weeds. So I'm probably going to go ahead and, and use Wisp to pick all my weeds for me in every town that I play in. But that'll be cool. Uh, where was I going? I was going to Bubbles, right? Or not Bubbles. The chicken. Ava. Ava the chicken. And I'm not even sure where my bridges are anymore. <laughs> you could say I've burnt all my bridges. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Lobo. Is she even up here? Ava's house. Is she inside? She better be. I don't even know if it's a girl or not. Well, I'm inside her house. There's nothing here. She's not here. So where is she then? Maybe I did talk to her. I wonder where... Ava could be. I definitely do not see her. It's probably gone forever. I guess the world will never know who you are, Ava. Unless you want to show yourself in the next couple of seconds. I'm going to go back to my town if you're not going to be here. Oh, it is her. I did talk to her. Never mind. Oh, she's so mad. What'd you do? I'm not talking to you. What'd you do to Ava? I just want to be alone right now. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that that didn't work out for you. Whatever, whatever he said, it's not true. Whatever I said, whatever I did, I didn't mean it. I just want you back for good. All right, let's go back to my town. Leaving Arcadia behind. Yep, I'm leaving. Feels like you only just got here. Next train should be arriving any minute now. Let's get you ready. He probably told her that Chick-fil-A is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, didn't I see you at Chick-fil-A? <laughs> Weren't you in the Chick-fil-A logo? I'm more than just a chicken.
<laughs> it's too bad. She is more than just a chicken. Way more than just a chicken. Alrighty, let's head out back to my main town here. I saw your mama at Chick-fil-A. Oh! <laughs> now Ava is sad. But it's funny because he gave her a shirt. Like, um, what's his name? Lobo. Gave Ava a shirt. And then she immediately was mad and left. So it must have been something like... Like, here's a shirt that only losers wear. And she was like, oh, cool. Blink, wait a second. Oh, I'm so mad. That, that had to be how that conversation took place. That's the only thing I can think of. Whoa, unbelievable. You again. It's pretty believable. That's odd. Whew. Uh, we're friends. Birds of a feather. We're almost to Atlantis. Take good care of yourself. I think I will. I will try. I will for real try. Maybe she put on the shirt and then noticed it smells like fried chicken. Welcome home. All right. So, I think it's time for a demonstration of the best part of Animal Crossing for the GameCube. The absolute best part of Animal Crossing for the GameCube. Right here. NES games! They don't do this anymore, and I really wish they did. This is the one thing I miss the most out of, uh... Out of Animal Crossing is. Hold on. Oh, it's up. Okay. I remember now. So. The NES games were, like, super fun, super cool. They don't do them anymore, and I wish they did because it was. It was. Like, they're doing other things now, like. Um. Like, getting other types of games in there. Um. Like, they're doing um, the Animal Crossing Island Escape, which is kind of fun. Um, and the puzzle challenge thing, which I thought was just difficult. I don't know. Um, but they don't do it anymore. And I feel like they should put NES games back in Animal Crossing just to kind of give you something else to do. Um, of course, they have stuff like the NES Classic, and they have... Um, the eShop releases and everything, so they don't need to do it. But man, it would be so cool. Oh, I missed. This is Pinball. This is like a very basic version of Pinball for the NES. It was, uh... It was a fun game. I remember playing it when I was younger. But this is the full, like, this is the full version of Pinball. Like, there's nothing different about it. The full version. I'd rather play classic Nintendo games instead of Puzzle League and Desert Island Escape. I agree. Like, Puzzle League was okay, but it wasn't quite what I had in mind. Oh, no. Oh. There's, like, no sound effects, because I hadn't done anything in a while. Sound effects kind of scared me. <laughs> Game over. So we'll get out of this one. Not what I wanted to do. I forget how to change. There it is. Saving to the memory card. Over here we got Excite Bike. I, I, it's funny because I don't, I don't even remember... Like, I never knew this about a sight bike, but if you hold the B button, you go faster. I didn't know this until, um, until the 
NES Remix game came out. And these little pads there, like, they, they lower your temperature so you can use the B button again. I didn't know that. And I feel like I feel like such an idiot too, because I, I like I like this game. But I never thought there was any strategy to it, because it was just hold the A button. Don't hold the B button because you'll you'll drain your stamina or you'll drain your uh, your temperature gauge. But this is the full the full retail version of uh, Excite Bike on Animal Crossing. Finish. That was kind of fun. 59 seconds. I shaved 6 seconds off that time. That's crazy. I remember playing Atari games when I was really young. I really liked Pitfall Harry. I don't think I ever played that one. I don't remember ever playing that one anyway. I didn't realize there was a, a Mario trophy on my desk. It's kind of cool. Here we've got, uh, what is this? Oh, Super Tortimer. I don't, I don't have that game. If we go downstairs. There's a couple more. We've got Wario's Woods. I won't play that right now. Donkey Kong. I don't want to play Donkey Kong. Balloon fight's pretty fun. I also liked Adventure. If I don't understand it, still don't. <laughs> Balloon fight, I love this game. I played this with a friend of mine, like, countless hours. We play together, like, cooperatively, or, or we'd fight each other. And it was like, it was crazy. I played this game so long. And it was really fun. By today's standards, it's probably not that great. But this is kind of why Villager in Animal in Smash Brothers has balloon fight stuff because his because NES games were a thing. I can't even move. I just died. <laughs> so Villager has the balloons in in Super Smash Brothers because of this. Um. I think so. I don't remember. I know that I have all the NES games in my in my main town save file, but I don't think I have them in this one. Not all of them. Don't you don't you do it? I hate you. You stupid bird thing. I prefer old games to most new ones. I do too. It seems like whenever you think that someone's going to take an old game that you loved and make it better, it seems like they end up screwing it up in some cases. DK Junior Math? No. I'm not sure what that one is. I'm going to try to get over there and see. Drop this uh, shirt. Grab that shirt. Baseball. I remember baseball. We'll play a quick... Real quick round of baseball to see. Oh gosh. I remember this being fun, but like, also challenging. Oh, I missed that one. <laughs> you can move your character a little bit. Ooh, foul ball. Oh, it's, it's good. It's fair. Go. I guess I could probably go for the... No, I guess not. I could have gone for the second base, but... I'm not going to do that. Ooh! Nope. He's out. Oh, he's not. <laughs> okay. I remember you could, like, throw pitches that were curveballs, or you could do all kinds of crazy stuff in this game. Ooh. Oh, no. Double play. Goodness. <laughs> I 
Okay. Ooh, 96 miles an hour. Nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> Third base. You missed me. I'm going to get a home run here. I'm going to get it. I'm going to score something, then I'll change games. Oh, snap. Never mind. I'm not going to score. <laughs> Sorry, my life. I never, never win. Just do a little better each time. All right, let's see. There's more games over there. I don't know if I can get to them. I'll have to drop some stuff off outside. And then I'll try to get to those games on the on the far wall. I forget how you got the games in this in this game. I don't remember. But I know that at some point the game, like, you had to earn them. You had to get them from somewhere. I can't remember where you got them. I want to say Tortimer gave you some. Or possibly... Maybe there were prizes given away by some of the villagers if you did a chore. You get one on your birthday. That's right. You do get that. I have so much stuff in here. This is DK Junior Math. No, thank you. Clue Clue Land. This is a puzzle game, I think. Um, I think it's kind of like uh. Nope, it's not like Puzzle League at all. This is a. Oh yeah, you have to like use your hooks to like move. But I don't remember exactly what I'm doing. I have no idea how to play this game. Do you have to box those guys in? Is that what you're supposed to do? Ah! Well, I'm not playing it anymore. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Saving to the memory card. Okay, here we've got. Oh, it's just a regular. It's just an NES with nothing in it. Interesting. The lighthouse. Uh, this is the lighthouse that you get for actually helping out Tortimer with the lighthouse mission. He gives you a lighthouse. It's kind of cool. Um, but I thought there was like Super Mario Brothers and a couple other games also. I can't remember. But I, I, I legit thought there was a bunch of others. I think, I think Zelda was one of them too. This game is amazing. Like, someone asked me if... Uh, if I like this game better than New Leaf, and I don't, I don't think I like it better. I, it's probably pretty close to being equal for me, because this game is, it's got a ton of nostalgia, but it's also got a ton of just really cool things about it that I loved. It's very simple. It's not overly complicated. And it's just fun. It's just fun. New Leaf absolutely needs retro games. <laughs> I doubt it'll ever happen, but it it could stand to get a couple of retro games. One or two. Golf. Let me see what other games are even in the in there. Um I can't even remember which games are available. Looks like uh, you get them from Nook's Lottery, Red, or are buried by villagers. 
So they give you Balloon Fight, Clue Clue Land, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Junior Math, Excite Bike, Golf, Pinball, and Tennis. I thought there was more, though. Let's see what the Animal Crossing Wikia says. I also love the design for animals in this game, despite them not having the best graphics. Obtained from the island are Wario's Woods and Baseball. Oh, and obtained from Nintendo giveaways, Soccer, Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong 3, Clue Clue Land D, and Punch-Out. Unobtainable without external external assistance so mario bros ice climber super mario bros and legend of zelda um you have to get from different ways legend of zelda was only available by cheating by hacking the game mario super mario bros was only available in the japanese version as, as a famitsu giveaway um ice climber and mario bros were only available as a re an e-reader card so I don't think I ever got it. I never could get those games. But I think they are the NES games kind of make this game just worth that much more because they they were hard to get and you can kind of take a break from whatever you're doing and play some NES games. It ma it made the the world feel like it was actually better. Like you actually got to play NES games at your own leisure, so I thought that was neat. Neat. Um, the Switch Animal Crossing could have retro games. Nintendo said that there won't be NES or SNES games for Virtual Console, so they might be an Animal Crossing Switch. They could be. You have to think, though. Nintendo wants to sell the Super Nintendo Classic and the NES Classic, so they may or may not do that. I mean, they're not making very many Super Nintendo classics, so it's still up in the air as far as what they what they could or could not do. I really do think they should just go ahead and put NES and Super NES games back into um, back into the game, but they may not. Uh, where is your bits cup? Um, it's actually not on this. Um, it's not on this screen. I can put it on there. But I forgot to put it on there. Animal Crossing Switch? It's not been announced yet. There's been a lot of uh, speculation about when or, when or if it's ever going to come out. But it may or may not ever come out. Um, I really wish that it would. Maybe not ever. Ever is probably a bad word. But... It certainly should. Okay, here's the tip jar. There you go. <laughs> Let me make that a little smaller. Because I need it. Put it right here in the middle. Where everyone can see it. There we go. Tip jar. Done. Ask and ye shall receive. I got you excited for nothing. Yep, I'm sorry. Animal Crossing for the Switch will definitely happen. We just don't know when. Um... I'm thinking if it's going to be revealed this year at all, it'll be revealed closer to the holidays for a um, for a release. I'd like to think early next year, but it probably won't be next year. I'm, I'm guessing they're probably going to announce it sometime in March. Um, maybe April, maybe the springtime. My guess is... And I'm here to dance just cheered with, with 1,000. Thank you so much for those bits. I really do appreciate it. I figured there was a reason why you wanted the tip jar out. Thank you so much, though. I really do appreciate that. Super cool. 1,000. That's the most anyone's given me. You continue to support me and continue to impress. <laughs> That's it for a while. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, but yeah, so I think that uh, they definitely will be coming out with Animal Crossing at some point. I'm guessing by springtime, by the end of spring next year, we'll have some more information on it. But I don't think we'll know everything about it. 
And if it doesn't come out, if we don't hear anything about it this year, uh, in 2017, then it's likely to come out holiday 2018. That's my guess. Now, they might be waiting until um, 2020 to come out with, with it um, as kind of an anniversary type thing. I mean, who knows? I mean, the game's Animal Crossing has been out for a long time, so maybe they're waiting for an anniversary to release um, to release Animal Crossing. Which should be fine with me. I'm okay with that. But I think they're... Now, 2020, my understanding is that the game's internal clock for Animal Crossing for the GameCube only goes to 2020. Um, and I think that it's going to reset pretty soon. Well, not reset, but it's like the game won't... It won't continue to... to progress the year the months and days will still go but the year will no longer increase i thought i had a calendar in my house too maybe i can check it uh 2020 is far away for a game yeah it is and i think if they're working on animal crossing right now we won't have to wait for it there's a chance though, that they're not even working on it uh, maybe that maybe they wanted to do the amiibo update to kind of give you an idea. Um, there we go. I'm not sure how far out you can go. Oh, you can only go to June. <laughs> That's awful. You only go one year out, apparently. Wasn't this released in 2002? Maybe. Animal Crossing GameCube clock resets at 2020. Maybe that's when it will be released and Nintendo is giving us a sign. Maybe they think the mobile game will be enough. It's possible. I, I like... I don't know how I feel about the mobile game just yet. We'll have to see what exactly um, is in store for us in the mobile game. I, I'm really worried that it's going to be just a like a Farmville clone or something like that. Or it's going to be something like... Um, 10,000. That's what's up. Or it's going to be something where it's like it's like pay to win. And I don't I don't want that either. So I'm really really worried about the Animal Crossing for um for the mobile. It may not end up being that bad, but I'm just still worried about it. The mobile game could be amazing, or it could be, like you said, Farmville-type game. I don't have a cell phone with internet, so that's of no interest to me. Just keep playing Wild World. I actually, uh... Um, what was I going to say? I... I actually enjoy, like I like the idea of a uh, of Animal Crossing for the for mobile, and it, it really could it could end up being as a uh, a really cool version of Animal Crossing where maybe you maybe you do have a town, maybe you do actually play the town. I don't think it's going to be a replacement for Animal Crossing, but I think it is going to be. A watered down version at the most but I think whatever you do in this game is going to interact with the switch version in some way kind of like how um, the Splatoon uh, app interacts with Splatoon you really can't do anything in the Splatoon app but you can check stats and everything but I think it's gonna be a lot more like that where it's gonna be like this is the game or this is like the the mobile version of Animal Crossing. And I have a feeling it's going to interact with... Um, the Switch version, whenever it comes out. This is the, uh, this is the old school way. This is what you had to do back in my day. To write letters, <laughs> you had to... 
Well, to, to get fossils appraised, you had to write letters and send the letters off. It's awful. Uh, nowadays, blathers can just go ahead and, and check the fossil for you so you don't have to do this anymore. But back when I was when I was young, when I was a young buck, we had to <laughs> we had to send all our letters out. One one subtle thing about this game that was really cool is that you can play this game without using your left hand. Um so your controller, this button is run, and you can use the C stick to move your character. Well, you could. Hold on. Hold up. Wait a second. Oh, I'm sorry. Your right hand. So you can use this to run, and this button's also run. So you can just you can just do whatever you want with your right hand. You can text message somebody. Back when I was young, we, we didn't have text messaging, so that wasn't an option. But you can like explore the internet, or you can do whatever you want. Maple, is she here? Where's Maple? I just ran by her, didn't I? Hydra has just followed. Hydra 173. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Maple's my number one favorite. Where is she? Did I run past her? There she is. Is that her? <gasps> it is her. What's your problem? Why do you just up and leave without saying anything? You surprise me enough with your everyday behavior, let alone this weird, mysterious stuff. What did you want? I want a job. I can't think of a single thing. Okay. <laughs> she's been she's mean to me right now. You must have had some reason for coming to see me, right? Hmm. Let's just talk to her, see what she says. Let's chat. I've gotten really into gardening lately. It's really rewarding. See, I grow flowers and pear trees on on land that nobody's using. All you do is dig a hole and bury the seeds underground. Mm. Something tells me you don't really bury anything or plant anything. Something tells me that you don't do any of that. <laughs> I mean, there's pear trees here, but I'm pretty sure I put those there. Hey, it's fine, Maple. If you want to, you know, tell a couple of... Uh, Lives or whatever, that's that's fine. I'm trying to find my post office. My post office is Oh, it's up there. I passed it. Maple's my number one favorite. She does not like Milo, I'll tell you that much. She is not Milo's <laughs> You call him Maple a liar? No, no, I would never. <laughs> I like Maple. I don't think she likes Milo that much, though. But I am saying that I've never seen a single villager um, in this game plant flowers. Oh gosh, you have to do them one at a time, too? Oh my gosh, that's awful. Well, Milo did abandon her for 13 years. That's a good point. This is awful. I have to do all these one at a time. They're all going to the same place. Can I just put them all in one big letter? Or one big box and you just send that one box out? Can I only mail five at a time? That's going to make me mad. Oh my. I'm sorry, we can't accept any more letters, I'm afraid. The mailbag is stuffed full. I had to leave and come back. Okay. That's the weirdest game mechanic I've ever seen in my life. Like, Pete's flying off. Cool. That's so weird, though. I mean, at least they don't—they don't limit you to five letters per day. That's good. But at the same time, like, I feel like that's such a primitive way of doing stuff. We can only do five at a time. Then we got to get Pete to do his job.
But it's all good. It's all good. More letters? Sure. I'm not even sure what letters I have in my mailbox right now. This is probably the most I've played this game in a long time. I'm gonna just play some New Leaf while listening to you play. Cool. Uh, let's see. Check my mail here. Let's see what I got inside. The letters, the mailbox. Oh gosh. It's full. Everyone's been sending me letters for 13 years. Tad and... Uh, who's this? Um, Tad and Chico and Valise. And this person didn't send me a letter or any presents, but that's fine. Maple sent me a letter. Let's see what Maple sent me. Exotic wardrobe. Cool. Camafrog sent me a present. Like, every single villager is like, hey... Please come back. We miss you. Even Spike. Spike hates me now. Jackhammer. Oh, I have the golden stuff, so I guess I have all my... I have all my bugs and fish. I didn't know that. Exotic butters. So, I guess I didn't send any fossils off the last day that I played this game. see I got a bad plane shirt I got a watermelon table I got a school desk and a white ring shirt this is a bear pool I'm gonna drop this stuff I'm surprised the town's not like super excited that I'm back like they're excited sure but they're not like like throwing me a party or anything like that like welcome back milo we missed you nothing like that they're just they're just cool with it any pokemon today uh chameleon 6994 uh probably not today i played some pokemon last night uh but i probably won't be playing today today's all about animal crossing on the gamecube um, and I will probably be playing Pokemon again on Saturday night, coming up soon, and probably some Splatoon 2 later on tonight. But thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Um, I tried to catch a uh, shiny bounce suite last night, and it was not successful. <laughs> But I will be trying again. Don't you worry. All these golden trees everywhere. I think my goal was eventually to have every tree replaced with uh, with golden trees. See you next time. Chame chameleon. 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 But I never got around to being able to do that. That's a lot of shovels I had to buy too though. So... You can take anything, I think. What is this, flowers? A white cosmos bag. No, I don't want it. A shirt? A Speedway shirt? Nope. This is one of my favorite shirts, the one that I have on right now. It's like the dragon shirt or something. It's pretty neat. One of my favorite shirts ever. Freebies. <laughs> you can just take anything, I think. Um, it's probably not. It's probably not a problem. No one has claimed that shirt in 13 years, so you can go ahead and take it. The next day. Yeah, did you guys find my shirt? <laughs> I lost it 13 years ago. Hey, man, we gave that away. It's gone. Is he going to tell me to write a letter again? 
never-ending fountain of energy. I like Spike, though. Spike's pretty cool. <sighs> you shouldn't just work all the time. All work and no play makes you something bad. I forget. Anyway, you should make time to write letters to your pals. Why don't you start by writing me? We're friends, aren't we? So you can write me, right? Right? I guess he really wants me to write him a letter. I will. I'm gonna write him a letter right now. Who's this? Monique. I do not like Monique. I remember her in my town. I do not like her. Curse my movie star looks and winning personality. <coughs> is that so? And you're sure you're not a fan? My name is Monique. It's been sort of a pleasure. I guess I didn't... She must have just moved in. That's weird. How nice for you if you still fit into the same clothes after 13 years. And that one guy who lost his shirt has been shirtless for 13 years. Running around. I don't like the way she looks. I feel like she's way too much makeup on. And her hair. What's up with that hair? I don't like it. You're a, you're priceless, you know that? You're like a peppy little bag of fun. By the by, did you need something? Nope. How come we didn't see Maple and Monique earlier? You know, I don't know. I feel like I, I explored this town quite a bit. I don't remember someone living there, though. I remember someone living here. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Hmm. I guess we can go back and watch the video later and see if she was in fact there. I don't know if she was or not. I guess we'll find out. Time will tell. So I'm not really sure what else to do right now. I can try to dig out my old... Uh, link cable for the 3DS. I'm sorry, for the, for the Game Boy Advance. Maybe try to go to the island. I haven't been to the island in a while. But the downside is it, all the action takes place on the Game Boy, so I wouldn't be able to show it off very well. I can try. Let's see. I think that the cable that I have is over here. So if it's if it's close by, I'll go ahead and go. If it's not close by, I won't be able to do it today. It looks like it's probably not in this drawer. And not in this one either. Could be back here. I think it's in one of these drawers. Now I'm thinking about it. I'm just not sure which one. Nope. So you know how all your stuff is like exactly where you left it? <laughs> That's kind of how I feel about my whole life. All my stuff is exactly where I put it. But sometimes I have trouble remembering where I put the stuff that I have. It's not in there. So it's not close by, so I probably won't be able to go and do the island stuff, although I'd really like to. It's too bad. Ugh. That was the that was the plan. I heard about the island. Doesn't everyone have one special random villager who lives there? I think so, yeah. I think that is the case. Um there's like one special villager who lives there. So, um, I'm just thinking. Cause I don't think I have it anywhere else. That cable's probably, it's probably downstairs, but I don't remember exactly where it would be.
gonna check one more place here just to make sure that if if I check it and it's there cool if not at least I checked looks like it is not here that's too bad I can definitely make time for to play this again and uh, try to get to the island. I think that would be like super old school. Super fun to go into the island. Check it out. But oh well. Oh well. I tried. I certainly did try. Anywho, let's check out some other stuff. I don't know if there's anything else I can do right now. I think I've I've pretty much done it all, I think. Um, I guess I can pick some weeds, but I don't want to do that. Not when Wisp can do it for me. Let's go check out... Did I talk to this person last time? I don't think I did. Flake Master, I'm standing right here in a fully noticeable place, and you don't say hi? For the past 158 months, I've been waiting right here for you to come talk to me. And what really fries me is that maybe you noticed me the whole time and totally didn't care. Did you want something? Well, I can, I can say with full confidence, Bunny, that you were not standing in that exact spot for 158 months. There's no way. I need work. I can tell you uh, with full confidence. Bunny's pretty cool. I don't mind Bunny. I think the one one of the few characters I don't like is uh, Monique. I don't like her. Tangi, I, I really don't like. TGS Hizap, welcome to the stream today. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Um, playing some old school Animal Crossing for the GameCube. And uh, I thank you for stopping by. Stupid lousy guy, I can't stand those nosy meddlesome neighbors of mine. What's their beef? Your house looks so lonely, it's so barren and empty. Please, give me a break. Let me be, that's what I ought to tell them. I ought to just say, hey, you let me be, you darn dirty beast. It really chafes my hide. Much as I hate to bow to these idiots... I think I need your help. Just do something to get them off my back, will ya? I'm about to lose it over here. What does he want me to do? A friend of mine started to illustrate characters from Animal Crossing, so I wanted to watch someone play it. Oh, cool. Yeah, you know what? You're in luck. I don't play this game every day. Usually on Sundays, I'm, I, I play Animal Crossing New Leaf. So... What's he want me to do? Do something to get them off my back, will ya? Well, well, what do I need to do? Grab a random piece of furniture from the pile and give it to him. I tried that. I just tried that. It didn't work. So, do I have to talk to some of his neighbors and say, hey, quit being a jerk? Where's Camera Frog live? I've never had to do a, 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 a quest like this before. Hello again. What's up? Oh, I'm picking up. I just stepped on a poor defenseless grasshopper. I knew it. I totally forgot. I was just borrowing it. And I think... And thinking it was mine, I lent it to Camera Frog. That's a huge bummer. But you'll have to get it from Camera Frog. So, who was the other person that wanted me to get that item? I can't remember. And is it Camafrog that has both of them? That's going to be weird. He's actually over here, though. <laughs> oh, that's right. He did. He wanted me to plant flowers. That's right. 
I'm picking up. Are you going to take the glasses case back to Astrid? Well, then here it is. That's all I have to say. Get a move on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, and buy some flowers and plant some flowers for Camafrog. That sounds fun, right? I gotta find Astrid also and get her... get her stuff going. But someone else had glasses too. They wanted me to pick up glasses from somebody else. Can't remember who. Can't remember who it was. this person was it it was this person <laughs> what happened to the last favor I asked you to do for me Chico Chico has it I think I know where Chico is down here possibly I don't remember let's see those trees grow together they they normally don't grow like that like right next to each other like that it almost never happens hmm. where's the, the shop is it up here okay I also have to find Chico wherever he is ah police station don't get me copper get it because his name's copper <laughs> Um, buy some flowers, you know. Chico wants a pear. Does he? How do you remember all this? <laughs> I think he did want a pear or a peach or something. But he also has... He has glasses. You know, the villagers never ask you to plant flowers by their house anymore. In Animal Crossing New Leaf, they never ask you to do it. I wonder why. I wonder why it changed. I think four is enough. That's all he's getting. He's only going to have four. That's it. I just remember you laughing at him, saying you probably wouldn't. <laughs> no, I probably won't. <laughs> I still probably won't. I'm only doing this thing for Camafrog because I ran out of things to do. Where's his house? Is this his house? I don't even know. It's Cody. I swear I'm going to run Tom Crook out of business one day. You have to be brave enough to open up your own shop. Tangy, where is... Is he below the break? He is below the break. That jerk. Yeah, Tom Nook kind of has the, uh, the monopoly on um, furniture shops in town. He's not, he doesn't have uh, the Monopoly on on clothing or um, flowers anymore. So there's potential that if a new entrepreneur came along and sold furniture at discounted rates and did it better than Tom Nook did, you could totally run him out of business. He'll probably transition himself over into the housing market, though. There's a lot more money in the housing market. So I'm guessing that's where he'd end up. He's kind of already there. It's 
so. Hey, why are you even talking to me? The flowers. What's so great about flowers? <laughs> They're pretty, so what? Grow up. Whatever, I do want you I do want to give you something for your valuable time. Good, he sells prices for way too high. I'm giving you the kitschy tile. Any complaints? I thought not. Alrighty, let's go. Gotta find Astrid and Chico. Chico? Yep. I thought he lived down there on the beach. I remember thinking when this game was out that it would be so cool if you could build your house wherever you wanted to, just like the villagers can. Lo and behold, you are now able to build your house wherever you want. Within reason. It's pretty awesome. Chico! What's up? I'm picking up. <laughs> I don't have the glasses case anymore. Surprise, surprise. Cody came by. Wow. That's cool. I like talking to Cody anyway. I think Cody's another another bear that I really like. I would not mind having him in my town again. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh. Did you make did you make Tanji mad? Oh, good for you. Can I give you a high five? <laughs> oh, she's mad forever. It's rude how they lend out things that don't even belong to them. It sure is. It's the rudest. Where is Cody? I'm in his... This is his house right here. Oh, great. He's not there. Great. Grand. Wonderful. I'm just going to grab a peach and a pear. I don't remember what my native fruit is. I have no clue. I'm not sure where Cody is either. I, th I thought I saw him somewhere. Just walking around. But I think if he walks too far, you can't go into his house. But he might be in the shop. He might be somewhere totally different. I also need to find Astrid, wherever she is. Astrid's home. Hold on. Delivery for Astrid. Where was she? Did I miss something? Spike, Monique, Maple, Cody, Camafrog, Tangy, Patty, Peaches, Stella, Bunny, Valise, Chico, and Alfonso. I don't see Astrid anywhere. Did she move like that quick? Why would she do that? Hmm. Well, that's going to make me more upset. I can't find Astrid. I did that I did that that favor for nothing. I went so far out of my way for nothing. Did Astrid leave town while you were traveling? 
I, I guess it's possible. Usually they wait like a day or so before they move out. I'm, I'm surprised if she moved out, she moved out that quickly. I guess we'll never be able to give it to her. Platoon Master 5, hey, welcome to the stream today. Thanks for stopping by. Playing some Animal Crossing for the GameCube in a long overdue. After a 13 year hiatus, I'm playing Animal Crossing for the GameCube. It has been a while. It's been a long time. Anyway. I guess I'll go find Camafrog and give him... Or Chico, give him some... Some peach or pear action. I remember this game. <laughs> this game's awesome. It was so much fun. The newer versions, I think, are immensely better, but this game is so fun. It's fruit time. Finally, I don't know how long it's been since I've eaten a pear. A regal carpet. Thanks, brah. Thanks. I gotta find Cody. They should add sports. Sports day back. They should add a lot of things back. I think right now, every morning at 6 a.m., Copper will actually do yoga in the town square. Super cool. I don't know why they took that out of the game in the first place, but it was super cool. But there's no telling what they could or could not do at this point. I think that uh, there's a lot of things that need to come back from the original Animal Crossing games to the games of today. I, w I wouldn't even mind some of the uh, some of the Wild World events could come back, and that'd be fine for me. I, w I wouldn't mind. I honestly would rather have every event ever. Um. You know, e even some events that are only available in certain countries, like it might be kind of cool if those events only happened in those countries and those versions of the game, but they were still available for you to experience in your version of the game. If you happen to travel to that country or something. Or maybe you can sign a petition in your town to actually have that as a, as a regular holiday. That'd be kind of cool too. And add the city back but make the city a big open world where you can find players, hang out, post drawings, play mini games and stuff. That's a really good idea. I like that. I think the only problem you're going to have with that is people will draw really inappropriate things. And how do you monitor that? Like, how do you monitor that? Um... Peaches. Bunny should have it now. Why do they keep giving things out? Stop it. That's one thing they did stop doing in, in the newer games. They stopped lending out stuff that wasn't theirs. But I think it's kind of fun. I think it's kind of fun to track down Bunny. Now that she has the thing I'm looking for. There could be a report button. Um, but remember, I don't know if you have the Wii U. The Wii U has this thing called Miiverse. Which basically is that concept where you can draw pictures and post stuff. Um, and it's a really cool idea. And I, I would love to see it back in Animal Crossing. Um, except, yeah, people got out of hand with it. And I know it's the report button's there and it, and it can be reported and everything can be better. And they will actually take things down that are inappropriate. Um, so I think it'd be great. I think I think it could work really well, but you have to have people to monitor that that environment so it doesn't get out of hand. But it could work. It could work. Splatoon 2 has a report button for drawings. 
you know, I, I actually kind of missed the Miiverse. I feel like it was a really cool way of, of, of socially interacting with other players. I almost wish it would come back in the Switch, but it did get out of hand, and it was very tough to keep to keep track of everything. So, we'll see what the future holds for Animal Crossing. But the city could be a good idea. I'd, I'd like there to be a Main Street and also a city. I think Main Street could be your your personal progress through the game. But they could also have a city that you go to for other for other things. Delivery. Hey, it's about time. But I'd never see it again. This makes me really happy. How did you know I was going to even finish this mission? Like, how did you know that I was going to go find your glasses case? That's weird. Very presumptuous. Anyway. So we can talk a little bit about, about this game. I think, I think Animal Crossing for the GameCube obviously holds a special place in my heart. It's one of my favorite games that ever came out. I was really excited for this game from day one. Um, it came out, let me see, I don't know if there's even like a release date for it. I bet there is. Uh, but I, I remember when the game first came out, I was extremely excited to play this game. I actually made it, I took the day off from work that day. Um, I uh, went to Subway and got a nice Subway sandwich. And I played. I played it for like six hours, even though there was nothing to do. Because the first day is really just about getting acquainted with the game, and not really, and not really accomplishing very much. You really just wanted to get acquainted with the game. Um, so I played it for like six hours, and then I had to. Then I realized that uh, there was other things I needed to do. This game came out April fourteenth, two thousand one. So that is that. Um, April 14th, 2001 was the release date. I was working at Toys R Us at the time and super stoked to be able to play this game. Super casual game, super chill game, but it was so much fun and I have so many great memories of playing this game. Um, I'm very excited to have played it today uh, with all of you and uh, going through some of the really cool things that, that are available in this game. Um, but I'm really glad that this game is was a big part of my life and I'm really glad that there's been new versions of it I'm really glad that uh, everything's still here um, the only thing I have to try to track down is my original town the very first town I ever made on April 14th 2001 and as long as I can find it we'll be in good shape and I, I know it's around here somewhere it's just I've moved like five times since then so I have no idea where it is but it's around here somewhere um, I hope to still be playing Animal Crossing when I'm 70 plus. I couldn't even imagine like what that would be like, <laughs> 70 plus. Like what kind of new uh, technology will be out then that Animal Crossing will have evolved? I mean, unless unless Nintendo goes bankrupt, I I I do foresee that as being a possibility, a, a very profound possibility. Um, I think due to no more region lock, you could just change the switch language and make it Japanese. Probably. Um, as a as a bonus, I actually have, and I'm not going to play it today, but I actually have, um, and I went out of my way to get it. I went out of my way to mod my console to play it, but I actually have the original Japanese Animal Forest game for the N64. So if you if you guys didn't know, the Animal Forest game actually came out on the N64 um, a long, long time before um, Animal Crossing for the GameCube came out in America. So this game came out, and I think there was another version of it that may have come out. Um, maybe not. But the version that we got in America is actually... It's the exact same game, but it has a lot of upgrades, a lot of uh, new furniture, a lot of new um, events uh, throughout throughout the throughout the uh, the months and the years. 
Um, but it has a lot of really cool stuff. So then the Japanese game, uh, the GameCube game in Japan, they had to come out with another version that supported all of all of the features that the American version had in it. So I think it was this game uh, that came out towards the end of the N64's life cycle. And I think there was an, a GameCube game that came out in Japan. And then we got an upgrade to the GameCube game. And then Japan got an upgrade to our uh, to our version. So Animal Forest E Plus on GameCube only in Japan. So yeah, I think there's a there's a, a rich history of Animal Crossing releases between the N64 and the GameCube. And this is the original game. This has a town on it. I don't even know. Like I can't read Japanese, so I have no idea what the town is. Uh, but I played around with it a little bit. And I might play around with it a little bit later on. Um, in the coming weeks or months, something like that, because I don't, it'd be kind of cool to explore someone else's town and see what the fuss was all about. Maybe kind of see what one of their events was or something like that, but that's kind of cool. Um, I think the Animal Crossing team have started working on a new Animal Crossing game. I think so too. I think it's, I think it's definitely out there in, in development. There's definitely something coming out someday i think the mobile game is probably their next priority and that'll be that'll be talked about and released very soon um they say this year but we haven't heard anything about it so we don't even know if it's going to be this year or not uh but it's very possible um the other thing is that um it'll probably be on the switch most likely but there's a lot of a lot of new features that have to be put into the game for it to be worth it so you know i'm wondering what kinds of things they're going to do with the switch version but i'm really thinking there's going to be a lot of great additions to come out for the switch version and then for every console after that hopefully uh should nintendo stay around they'll keep making animal crossing games and by the time i'm 70 plus years old <laughs> Maybe there'll be some really cool, interesting stuff around that time. But it's kind of interesting to see how, how gaming is going to evolve between now and then and where we're going to be. So that'll be the, the only thing holding us back is what kind of video games are going to exist at that time. Anyway, this cow's up here walking around like some... Like I don't know what he's doing. Why is he not eating the weeds? Eat the grass, cow. Eat it. You leave my tip jar alone. <laughs> Don't eat that. So I'm probably going to wrap it up here. I didn't want to uh, be so sudden about it, but it has been about three hours in, and I have some work to do around the house. So I'm going to wrap it up here. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm probably going to be back on later today for some Splatoon 2 action, so definitely come back for that if you'd like to see some ranked battles and some some fun in the sun in Splatoon. Um, if you've not yet hit that follow button, I do I do videos every week on Animal Crossing at 11.30 a.m. is when they start. So every Sunday morning, 11.30 Eastern. Um, so check me out. So don't forget to hit that follow button today and I will be back next week. Um, and the other... I also do other streams throughout the week as well. Um, I'm probably going to work in a Pokemon trading card game stream, probably on Tuesday. I'm also going to work in some other stuff. Uh, we've got Smash Brothers on Saturday morning and Pokemon Shiny Hunting on Saturday night. So definitely come back for those if you are a Pokemon fan or a Smash Brothers fan. And if you're an Animal Crossing fan, catch me next week on the Animal Crossing stream. Though I will probably try to work in another stream for Animal Crossing pretty soon. Uh, for New Leaf, because I didn't get to play New Leaf this week, so stay tuned for that as well. Check my Twitter for all the details on that, and folks, I will catch you on the flippity flip. <laughs>